All right, welcome in, guys. Happy Friday, TGIF. I hope we're going to be uh, doing it before the storm comes upon us this evening. You never know. But tell me you live in the hood with that actually telling me you live in the hood. Woo! Like that stove. Light the fires and kick the tires. We are underway on a very chilly. It was so warm this morning. And then all of a sudden it got like chilled out. Chilled out. Feel that. All right, don't mind us. Hey, Gray. Hey, Elmer. How you doing? Yeah, lady. Don't mind me. This is long as you're getting where you want to go. What's going on, everybody? We're going to throw down a few miles tonight before we go shopping. So welcome in. Man, look at that mess. I guess the guy's there to open a bank account, I don't know. The Cambodian house. Hey Naomi, what's going on? going on do you have any homeless in uh, Oakdale down there <sighs> see if anybody dropped any money so I know I'm an early tonight because I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, a little worried about the weather. I don't want to get caught out too much with the rain. So we got a pretty long haul. We're going to try to make it all the way down to Fulton Road. Which is long. I don't think so. Not in town. I don't think your town would, uh, I think they'd ship them on out of there. I don't know. I don't know. But I did cut the grass today. I'm tired. Did some church work this morning. I don't think this thing even works. Everybody steals all the tools. it does work. How's your meat? <sighs> Tacos El Carbone. Oh, poor bone. Man, this is very raw and blustery. The weather was so nice the last couple of days, and boom. We're right into raw and blustery. 
What's going on, Elmer? Taxes. I bet they're in the tax office today. It's not too late. Go to your auto insurance place. They'll do your taxes. How do you like that? So I think I'm gonna have uh, I think I'm gonna have tuna casserole tonight. I don't think I'm gonna have shrimp again for a while. How you doing, Cap? They like that around here when you give me old Cap. How you doing, Cap? Barry, what's going on? We're just schlepping around. Hoping the weather holds. Where did we get spoiled by a week of nice weather? sleep like a baby tonight. Yeah, go, go ahead. Don't mind me. There you go. There you go. Chilling like a villain. Sit here a little bit and watch the world go by. Ugh. Rest my dogs. I don't know what happened to our beautiful weather, but it's not going to bother me too much. I'm off to Vegas on Sunday. That's the good news. El Rancho Market. Uh, I'm staying at the Dam Tanner, which is uh, the Prison Industrial Hotel. Hotel. Twelve will be here in nine minutes. It's the number two, twenty-four minute time now, three thirty-one. Santa Rosa to ride your meat. Yeah, I don't know how long that'll last. Track the bus your way. And of course, here comes the number two bus. That was supposed to be here in 22 minutes. <laughs> Do the bus stop here. Do the bus stop there. I got my nice big suburban. Suburb. I don't know, they were gonna open a South American market here and they never got never got it done. Never got it done.
That's tomorrow night, Sabado. Up in Ukiah, Redwood Empire Fair. Pios de Baron. There you go, uh, Naomi. They'll be waiting for you. Los Diablos de Hawaka. What's up, Ronald? How you doing? Rancho El Rito Rico. What's up, Sydney Cat? How you doing? We got the one and the only, the Toronto Dump. We're out in the bat in the hood today. Out in the bat in the hood. The Joy Area. foot today. I'm on foot. We're just chatting and BSing today. over to the Boys and Girls Center. I'm in California. Friday night at the taco truck. Having a nice afternoon in the hood today. It's a nice stress free. What's up, Ronnie? How you doing? She's cold. Friday Chica's delight. El Fragon. Yeah, I was worried it might be raining, Cali Mo, so I thought I'd better get an earlier jump today. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell. We're off to Las Vegas on Sunday. What's up, Zero? 
I'm in the hood, brother. Invented. That's the guy that engineered the Shelby Cobra. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Hell, fuck on. Yeah. I was going to say, the guy that invented the, the uh, show, Shelby Mustang, thank you. The Shelby Cobra, that's quite a compliment. That's cool. I visited his shop down in Las Vegas. What's up, Elmer? Maybe, I don't know, the rain today. Hell the fuck over. Like it's a famous guy that built cars, right? Shelby Cobra Mustang. Coming at you from the hood today. Oh, fuck on. Moving, gotta keep on moving. Do, 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 do. Laurie, how are you, honey? Yeah, we're just hanging out in the hood a little bit today. Hell with for gone. You gotta keep on do 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 do. Well, you talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Do, 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 do. I wonder if these taco truck people make the $20 an hour. I'm good. Yeah, we might be getting rain here in a while. That's why I decided, that's why I decided to start early today. That's why I decided to come on earlier today. For ordering big meat. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a little, uh, a little shaky today, Zero. A little bit shaky, brother. You gotta keep on. Do, 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 do. You never know, so I decided to come out early. I moved from Belcher Town when that song was out. I used to live on Belcher Street in Hong Kong. It's cold here. Gotta keep on moving, gotta keep on moving. Do, 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 Well, you talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Do, 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 do. It's El Fagon.
I'm surprised that uh, Foster Freeze is still open over there. Right. That's a real surprise. Might be closed, I don't know. Do, 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 do. Well, you talk about it, talk about it, Doctor. Hey, Doctor, how you doing? It's Doctor's El Fagon. wondering if, if those people are, are paid 20 bucks an hour. We'll be trying to get fast food jobs, right? Oh, you talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Do, 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 do. Monkeys in Hong Kong. job is kind of faded a little bit on that truck. Hey, Kay. Yeah, I'm just sitting in the hood here today. I, th I thought I felt the raindrop or two, so I just came under cover here. Coastal California. Ugh. You ain't gonna get better than this. Yeah, hit that like button. We're out and about in the hood today. You got tacos El Favorito down there. Chata and Taco, free admission. Cujo, come home. They drew a picture of Cujo. My goodness, Cujo is missing. I like the way they gave an artist rendering, like a real, like real professional police work. You don't see that too often. Ronnie, can you appreciate that? Chase the cat. Well, right. Two Joe could be gone. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, La Fondita. Wait, 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 wait,
That dog ain't coming back. Yeah, well, it might come in earlier than that based on the clouds look like they got uh, they got a full load in them, you know what I mean? Like they got a real pant load in them. Wait, wait, wait. They got a real pant load. La Fondita. Just got really raw and really cold. It was so comfortable this morning. It was like nice. And then uh, this crap all the hit. Moving, gotta keep on grooving. Do, 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 do. Uh, rent a room to responsible, please call. College savings account. Initial deposit up to 500 bucks. Can you imagine that? What a state this is, man. There you go, Lori. You missed your free college, honey. It is raw tonight. I mean, it is WWE raw tonight. I like Mexican music for about 20 minutes and then it just uh, same beat gets repetitive I didn't see an eclipse honey I was so busy on Monday I just uh, I didn't even think about it to tell you the truth I didn't even think about it And we were only, hey Mike, we were only getting 25% eclipse anyway, so. Yeah, then it becomes like a, you know, one, two, one, two. It just, it just gets, uh, everything's very repetitive. Yeah, I remember the guy was having a, uh, yeah, at the uh, auto body shop, yeah, Wednesday night, right. That was it. I don't know what the heck this thing is. Yeah, it was like a pop-up church in a garage. They were very nice. Oh, that's good, you had a nice view. I've seen more of my share. You can see an eclipse video back in 2016 or 2000, August of 2016 or 17. We were supposed to have an eclipse come over California. And you can see me sitting on the garage roof waiting for it, the workshop roof. Like waiting for the great pumpkin to rise out of the pumpkin patch. It's kind of a funny video. <clears throat> Missy Jen finally had to talk me down. Another disappointing appointment because it was cloudy. The marine layer didn't burn off. So I pretty much after that, I was kind of burned out on the idea of uh, eclipses. Then the next month, I got hit by a car. Then the next month after that, a third of the city burned down. So. 2017 was a very rough year. What do we got? Another gift shop here? Cheers. 
I don't know what this place is. It's like whatever it is, it's open. Let's see, they do it all in there. Photography, flowers, party rentals. He's from Germany. place to come for breakfast. I guess they're clean enough. Sam's foreplay, but uh, breakfast has gotten so expensive these days. Gotta keep on moving, gotta keep on grooving. Do, 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 do. Anybody who's coming to visit, I always bring them here for breakfast. It's weird, they use French as ketchup. Is this the guy that got crazy because he doesn't have husk barn or something? Kind of gave me a hard time that day. Oh. Because I handle still. How does Israel get into a Eurovision when it's in the Middle East? I mean, make that one make sense to me. I mean, uh, does America have anybody in there? Yeah, I've been to Waffle House. We were in Waffle House outside of Kansas City. Everything was greasy. The floor, the table, the coffee cups, the silverware, even the napkins were greasy. Members, well, that's the weirdest thing I ever heard. The hell would Israel be a part of that? You gotta move on to do 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 cause you talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. it here's a guy that uh, get, sold me my front tires. Some salams from China. Well, how about that? I guess the rancho should be in the contest too. Look at this baby, how lifted. Hello, lurker. Advanced flow engineering. Oh, it is so raw today, guys. So raw. It was so beautiful the last few days, and here we are, right back in winter. There's the Malibu. Gotta keep on moving, gotta keep on grooving. They have all these uh, kind of offbeat brands, although they put the other brands out. Imagine me driving like, what would you think of me then, Naomi? Would that like be the cat's meow? Could you imagine that? Coming into town like a bull. It's gonna be sloppy at the uh, rodeo. What is this, Tupperware? We do photography, income taxes, and Tupperware. That's cool. Girls going in for their kints.
20 bucks for that. Good lord. That is terrible. Can you imagine that? <sighs> Advanced flow engineering, they give you that good exhaust. Chonle. Made in China. Fabrique and Chine. No, it's just plastic. It's just like, are you kidding me? How you doing? The guy's selling an $8 Modelo. Gotta move on to. Well, I thought they always put new good tires on the. Uh, be like at least Coopers or Goodrich. Yokohamas. Something. This guy's got like tents set in, up in the back. He rents for people to stay back there. What a compound, huh? No, I don't think it was vintage. You gotta keep on. You gotta keep on. Everybody's pretty much freezing today. We are open. Estamos abiertos. Su trabajar es su credito. The BB fashion whereas that's been there since I moved to the hood. You gotta move on. You gotta move on. Hey Ace, how you doing? That's a thrift shop. You can tell the doors are open. You get that smell, that thrift shop smell. It's just kind of, just kind of weird. Remember, we almost. Uh, Almost went into the property here. We thought the fortune teller was gone. We thought the fortune teller was gone. And boom, just showed up out of the blue. Nice property. Needs a lot of work though. You bet not a bit of maintenance has ever been done in there. There's probably been like a termite fiesta in there. Goes back pretty deep. You gotta move on, dude. Today's a special. Ninety-four, ninety-five. I think a lot of these vehicles are like salvage title here. Yeah, I've done that. Some of my first dreams in 2013 were of the uh, fortune teller. I mean, really early January 2013 videos. 
Oh, that yard's okay. You gotta keep on. Hey, Alton Bruce. I'm out on a weekend pass. Can you believe it? I'm out on a weekend pass, brother. I don't know, that, uh, that fortune teller's been there a long time. This is where the guy got mad. He followed me all the way down because we looked into his uh, trailer park there, remember? He followed me all the way down, like a, like a, a mile into the parking lot down here. I don't know, Daniel, I'm not a crybaby, so... You gotta move on. You gotta... It's a miserable night to sit out and eat tacos. I'll tell you that. Easy breezy car wash. You gotta move on. You gotta move on. Blew that screw right through the side. What's up, Gregory Stevens? Make sure you like and subscribe. We're off to Vegas on Sunday. Means hood chooches, back alley streams. Woo! All that good stuff you've come to know and love for years here. All right. Is this hood enough for you, Greg? This is it, brother. Gills Tax Service. Red hair, that was one of my first videos. That's been there forever. 2013. What do you do if you don't have red hair? Bobby's doing good. We uh, just went down to the Boston Janets last, uh, we went out to lunch with them last Wednesday. Look at the video. How's everything in Germany there, Elmer? Gotta keep on moving, gotta keep on grooving. Do do. I'm Rosie's cousin. Hector Marcion. Everything's on lockdown. Prison lockdown. That's a tough way to hack out a living right there. Gotta keep on moving. Gotta keep on grooving. Yeah, hey Micah. That's right. Yeah. How you doing, brother? That's it. Yeah, you got to understand the difference between Macy's and the other ones. Right? I'm famous for my style. And 
I would love to be in the brake pad business, the way these people go. You gotta move on. Here's the fish, friends in self-help. Fish, go fish. Cell phone repair. What's up, Gordon Ramsay? I think we're gonna have a tuna casserole tonight. How's that grab you, brother? This house has had so many different paint styles over the years. Friends in self-help, fish. No cash on premises. Oh no, it's like they give some kind of food away here. Fish, a food pantry for all. Friends in service here. be a smart renter, right? It's like a food bank. People just line up here, they go from place to place to place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. Get a bike so you don't fight so you don't cook later. This used to be a little auto dealer here. And this was our old wholesome discount bread store up here where the true value is. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. Boy, is it raw. I took this out. Look at the way it cracked that concrete too. Probably racing. Oh man, is it raw. It's an air cut. Benita oh, Selena. I can't believe the uh, whiskey tip shut down. They had to put the thing up to keep people from sleeping up there.
This used to be a California card room. Jesus. This is America 2024, guys. Sammy Hagar. I don't know what this is all about over here. Justice is served. Forever 27. I guess another death in a neighborhood. Little vigil lights. It ain't a great place to raise kids, I guarantee you that. place. This is what we really excel at, nosing around places that are closed. Let's check this truck out of here, make sure we don't have any live action here. Looks like a pretty funky truck. October 2024. It's a live one. Uh, I don't like cheese with tuna. I'm, I'm not a cheese. I'm not much of a cheese person. This is where we earn the coin by going in here. This is what the channel's noted for, Devin. Sticking their nose in where it shouldn't ought to be. That's what we do, brother. That's our claim to fame. Ten years mobile streaming. Trail is closed. What? Make sure I don't step in a nice fresh turd here. Alright, let's let's uh let's penetrate the perimeter over here, see what's going on. I'm judging this guy actually runs his food truck over here, so that's probably his truck. I can be sure. If we encounter resistance, we'll just talk our way out of it as we always do.
If you ask me, it looks like somebody just pried it open. I don't know. You always take a chance when you're... When you, oh, somebody's in there. What's going on in here? Are they renovating here? I don't understand. Here, I've learned to connect it. And when I'm home. No, it's okay, buddy. No problema. No necesita. It's, uh... Are you going to be reopening? Huh? Are you going to be reopening? Yes. When? Huh? I'm I'm facing here. I'm not facing you. Huh? I'm looking this way. I'm just call. I'm just asking if you're going to reopen that door. Yes. I was just walking by. Okay. It's so, no problema. Okay. Thank you. So you are? YouTube. 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 I do live stream on YouTube. What do you do? Huh? You you fix up stuff? Yeah. No. I'm the. Owner? I say the owner. Good for you. Congratulations. Okay. All right. Okay. Good luck. Yeah. All right. It's a hostile world, ladies and gentlemen. It's a hostile world. Everybody's got a story. Boy, is this neighborhood going? I always thought this neighborhood couldn't go any lower, but boy, was I surprised, I'll tell you that. Man, was I surprised. Yeah, it's, uh, he didn't build it, but he's, no, it's just built like crap. It's not built to, it's not built to, you know, it's just a bar. How you doing, honey? Yeah. El Fagon. Yeah, well, we were trying to get a little bit of information, but, uh, there's no way that guy's the owner. Driving a truck like that, there ain't no way. Here's the Popeyes. Well, you know, that could have gone a little better. It could have gone a little worse. I mean, your mileage may vary on that, right? Your mileage may vary. No, that ain't a Wendy's, that's a Popeye's. Super expensive chicken. I think if you come in Tuesday, you get two pieces of chicken and like a drink for five bucks or something. All right, let's cross over here. Hell for gold. Everything turns to crap in the end, everything. Those are clouds. What's up, Catherine? Look at that rain on the way. Sit your second outside of the floor. That's why I told you guys, another year we won't be able to walk around like this with a camera like this. It'll be impossible. Oh, don't fall over, dude. Oh. Yeah, you can.
can eat, you know. I can eat ramen noodle. are getting very mean now. Then I'm close. The streets are getting mean. Red beans and rice chicken is fried too hard for me. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had it. out early because it's, you know, it looks like it could pour any second now. It's got the job. The streets need a hug. What's up, Greg? It was warm this morning and then the temperature just went down. Down, down, down. down. But it is Friday night. I will be having cognac and beer tonight. Maybe a little four road. It's tomorrow night's my last night in town and then it's off to Vegas. Make sure you're subscribed. Subscribe, hit that bell for all notifications. Well into our 12th year on the here on YouTube. 6,700 videos, thousands of live streams. You don't want to miss being a part of it. It's going to rain here tonight. I go out alone, but I turn water to come yet. Yeah, thank you, Naomi. Nice honey roasted peanuts. What's up, Sadie? You want to know, Tommy? Took out your whole family. What passes your family? Yeah, I think about the, uh, I think about going back to Mexico. Yeah. But, you know, people in Mexico City, they're getting tired of uh, gringos coming down there. Plus, you always got a good chance of being shaken down by the cops. So, I wouldn't even drive down there, I'd just be on public transportation. They see, uh, yeah, I'll be doing lots of uh, vertical IRL streams down there. My teeth are good, babe. All mine. <sighs> I've only had one upper and one lower wisdom tooth pulled, and they're all my teeth. No Billy Gap and all. No, they don't want they, they don't want they don't want white folk down there. Especially some pasty English guy. You gotta move on. going to the Goodwill today, but we'll probably get our butt kicked in. I don't know if that Burger King's open. There'll be a lot of femicide, and there's also a lot of, there's a lot of trafficking, there's a lot of cartels, there's a lot of drugas. A lot of wild dogs that want to bite your sack, right? I've been to Mexicali, Los Algodones, San Luis, Tijuana, Ensenada, Acapulco, Mexico City. Hey, Bunky, T G I F. How you doing?
Body infinite rush hour. Everybody wants to get home. I went to Durango. I went to Durango. What are you, dumb? What a dumb question. How many genders are there? It's like they don't even teach these kids in school anymore. Finished. Uh, I've done. I did uh, three restorations: a '74 GMC RV, a 1988 Coachman camper van, and a 1989 Coachman camper van. I did. I did. Yeah, I'm waiting for the bus to take me across the street to Popeyes to get some chicken. I don't need mods on vertical streams. I got a mod here. I got. A, I do have a mod here. The vertical streams were pretty freewheeling. Horizontal streams were more were more uh, country club. Yeah, thank you, Alan. Horizontal streams or country club streams. So we have two different styles. Tonight we're going food shopping and everything else. So it's going to be a very busy night tonight. Then we got drinking. Gonna make a tuna casserole. I hope the barbecue grill can take it. I don't know. It's kind of weird. What's going on? Neighborhood ain't no joke, brother. These people will take a staple gun and staple your nuts to the wall with you hanging down. down there in the summer in the heat. Look at my restoration video down there. I've been standing on the street at 115 degrees working on stuff. <laughs> Give me a large staple for mine. <laughs> uh, there's always a party behind me. I am a party lately. We got the blue lights of the cops over there. All these uh, shopping centers, they now got the uh, security blue lights on. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They should have that rodeo in like September or October. I'm glad, Alan, a good picture tonight. 
That way they got no risk of rain. We have the Apple Blossom Festival here, but I'm sure it's going to be rained down. can say to Gordon Ramsay is la di da 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 la di da 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 Let me uh, fix my code here. I'm sure I will. Should do that in October, November, October or September. Nice and warm, nice hot. Let's keep moving. Yell Valley, Italian, Mexico. See the place isn't exactly overwhelmed, run with people. Mexican places, they don't put heat lamps in. Oh, I love tuna, but not the way that Gordon Ramsay just described. I don't want jalapeno in there. Taco Tuesday, beef, chicken, or pork, a buck ninety-five. That ain't bad. <laughs> you get that on work release weekend. Beans is I'm a low risk prisoner. I get to go out uh, some weekends. Strictly low risk. Where you start to get a little hoodie around here. I don't usually walk around here. Everything's really kind of uh, very kind of rough kind neighborhood.
Royal Street is Canmore, oh hell. Yeah, this, this is a bad street, Canmore. I don't think this goes all the way down to uh, West Avenue. Yeah, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Terrible. That's why I figured I better get at now while the getting's good. This ain't no country meadow, folks. Food Max. Do I need anything from the Food Max? I don't think so. Should go back and make some of that. Uh, well, I don't know if it's worth making it now. Until I get back, I was going to make some lemon gelato. Goldie Khan, thank you, honey. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the dono, honey. We are in Kansas. We're in the wheat fields right here. That's it. Thank you, Goldie. Great to see you. We're just schlepping through the hoods today. We already had one sort of not positive. Well, I can't say it was negative. But it weren't a positive encounter. Goldie, I mailed off all my tax stuff today in Blackbirds. The hell is this? Damn, son. like somebody lit a fire to stay warm and just lit all their crap on fire. Who's going to cut the grass? Look at all that hood markings over there. Property patrolled by armed security. You got to be kidding me. Really? Wow, Goldie, that's unbelievable. Property patrolled by armed security guard. Yeah, I can tell. So, yeah, Lee, I'm out on the work and release program. Four hour surveillance. Man, people will put up any kind of sign at all. I never even usually come down this way. Basically, because we run out of sidewalk.
The crosswalk, the town flasher has been activated. I remember when they built this place years ago. I think we got good signal. Very gloomy. It started beautiful, sunny, and it just went downhill all day. That's exactly what it did. those rat boxes. Beautiful and green, that's it. I haven't been in this uh, shopping center in so long. Don't stop believing. I wonder if the Burger King is open again. Ross, dress for less. Be a pest. This guy's selling frutas. All right, let me see if I can fix it. How about now? We used to have a lot of people would be boondocking over here. But I don't think, oh, Goldie Khan, thank you. Happy Spring Rosie and Chat Choo Cheese, thank you. Thank you, Goldie Khan, doing double duty today. I don't know what else is in the lot. These shopping carts are really showing their age. Ronnie, look at that toe out there. How you like that, brother? There's a nice 300. The wall of value. I guess we should see if we're going to make some. Uh, is this the Dollar Tree in here? I don't think I need anything for a dollar. It's time to get the van and get a nice hot cup of coffee. No, we're not going to go into Food Max. I'm just seeing which what stores are around here. We got the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I got plenty of beer already. I don't need beer. 
They don't, I guess they still call it a Dollar Tree. Well, I, I, had, I had exactly one cup today, this morning. I don't know if that's a security guard or not. I guess it's been a while since we've been in a Dollar Tree. tell you a funny story. Everybody gets mad because I've told it for so many years because it's funny. Everybody laughs. Look at all the uh, shit carts here. Thank you. You're welcome. Where's the food over here? Shit, look at all the people here. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Okay, thank you. <laughs> go ahead. There you go. There you go. Go ahead. Big value. Big value. They don't sell the total. Have a good night. Another day at the dollar store. But nothing wrong with that. Well, I guess it depends, right? If we have money or not. Yeah, I guess it depends. Yeah, exactly. You hit the nail on the head, sir. Let's see if they have broth. It's hard to find anything anymore. Anybody who wants some mackerel? Sardines. That's good in burgers. Hey, Cindy, how'd it go today, honey? Oh, gotta keep on moving, gotta keep on. I've been, I've been in one of these for years. Briar's butter pecan, five bucks. Is that a good price? What would you do for a Klondike bar? See, their selection got bigger. And they don't have to keep the price so ridiculously low. But it took the fun out of the Dollar Tree, right? Now you really can't come in and get crap anymore. Gotta keep on moving, gotta keep on grooving. Parquet butter, that's not even butter. Good assistant took the letters, he was basically, oh, I'll bet they weren't impressed. I bet that threw them into a real, diz, a real tizzy, right? Well, the food selection is really poor. You know, the problem is the old days that you really had to scramble to make something and put it in and sell it for a buck. Now it's, now it's taking a lot of the joy out of it. Yeah, I miss the old dollar days. You could sell any kind of crap for a buck, right? Oh, they're still making these things. These guys, these crazy golden crusts like the worst thing I ever ate. I wonder if they're still in New York. Jamaican recipe. 
You really think it's a Jamaican recipe? Man, look at all the ingredients. Yeah, they're still up in the Bronx. How good is my memory? After we had that, Missy Jen called us. She said no more. She said there's no way I'm eating any of this crap again. So what are you gonna do, fly solo? Lemon sherbet. Wow, too much lead in Lunchables, man. Really? I get them all the time when I'm going to Vegas. It's just it's not the same as the glory days at the dollar store. <sighs> Look at this nut sack. Nut sack uh, hazelnut cocoa spray. Cops cock soup. Oh man. That kind of soup, huh? Gotta keep on grooving. Same stuff as growth in the alley. Star gourmet meals, quirky. The best that money could buy. The best of the best of the best. That's what I did. The best of the best. All right, well, same old dreary place. Who's gone fishing? Sure. Probably five, five thousand people in line. Take it easy, man. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice fish. All right. Well, I used to like to try everything, but one day we just pushed the envelope a little too much with that jerk golden crust or whatever. And, uh, you know, basically went into meltdown mode. What are you going to do? Well, you get all these bones in it and look like something looked like it, it was either ball sack meat or esophagus. I don't know what it was. You know, it looked like uh, esophagus meat or ball sack. You know, like a, like when years ago when I told you the story about Quiznos with the ball sack sub, the meat was like esophageal. It, it was like an accordion, like a ball sack. You know, it's like, dude, you just this is ball sack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I smell the hint of failure. And then what was here? Yeah, like some kind of ball sack or something. <sighs> You know, if you stand here long enough, someone will come up to the door. No, I think it was ball sack. It was a, it was a testicle bag. It was a spatchcocked testicle bag. <laughs> what the hell it was. <laughs> you know, you wonder why Quiznos is not in business anymore because, well, they were selling ball sack subs, that's why. Look at all the people camped on the trail over there tonight. Damn. 
What a party scene. Oh, brother. <laughs> you like this, Lee? People have discovered this for years, man. You're just late to the party. Oh, man, you can smell Goodwill's literally like a skunk just blew up right in front of it. It smells so bad. <sighs> This is what we do, dude. Oh, pediatric campus. You know what I mean, Cindy? It was either esophagus, esophageal meat, or else it was a ball sack that was stretched out. But it sure as hell wasn't regular roast beef. I so said, you just, this is a ball sack sub. Right? You gotta keep on to Hello Moto. Hey Nino. No, it's definitely like a stretch testicle meat, ball testicle bag meat. I told the guy, this, this, this is, look at this meat and I'm pulling it out like an accordion. This, this, this is ball sack, right? Then all of a sudden, it's no comprende English. You know how that goes. All of a sudden, a language barrier. The language barrier, and that's it. Nosotros financiamos. Store wide, clear, and sale. I don't think anybody's got any money anymore. Hey, Lisa K. I don't know. You, you know, Goldie, you're like a nurse trainer and stuff. Okay, you know, you. you know the difference between uh, right stretch ball sack on a sub or something else, right? You know the difference. Gotta keep on moving. Gotta keep on grooving. Rent a center, oh yeah. The no credit option. This is what we need. All this damaged merch. Wow, rent a center. This is like you pay a fortune. Everybody in the line just turned around and just walks out the door, right? I mean, if they're if they're serving ball sack, they're like, "What are they going to serve me?" Unlimited talk and text to and from Mexico, five bucks per month. Can you beat that? I got Boost Mobile for the other phone. Nino, have you ever had ball sack? That's it, Goldie Con. Unbelievable! Look at this Burger King. Looks like a like a looks like a damn mental institution. <laughs> this thing, man. <laughs> That's a Burger King. Holy smokes! <laughs> you gotta stop serving real meat, right? Man, look at that. Look at that Burger King. I don't know. Man, look at the color on that. Look at the color on that uh, Lexus there. Wow. Talk about luminescent. That's a wrap right there, folks. That's a wrap. <laughs> I thought this was a mental institution here. Right, uh... Gotta keep on, you gotta keep on, cause you talk about it, talk about it. <sighs> Stretch out that meat. You know, there's no way that sliced meat should be like an accordion. 
I thought it would look like it's kind of an institution on the side of it at first. I was like, holy smokes. Either that or a dance hall. <laughs> I couldn't figure, out, couldn't figure out what the hell it was. <laughs> it's all been modernized. It's, uh, it's like talk about uh, casting pearls before swine in this hood. Right? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Take a nap on the gas. I thought it was a damn dance hall. <laughs> what the hell I thought it was. That's what I used to, when O'Reilly's opened first, I thought it was an instant, I thought it was a drug rehab program over here. Uh. Well, I'm just saying the sub shops are going to give you like ball sack or they're going to slice esophagus or something like that and put it on there. But I'm telling you, if something's stretchy, you got to think physiologically how many things in the human body are like that, right? <laughs> Come on, I mean, <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, there's people that make uh, lampshades out of human skin, but I'm just saying, right? Wow, it gets to be a bit much. You know, Nino, years ago, everything was amazing, honey. I don't even know what the hell this is. I don't know. Arby's, I don't know. It's probably, probably ball sack. Our Arby's burned to the ground and they never rebuilt it. That'll be seven years ago in October. Get those rat boxes. Those rats climb right up the gutter, up in the rain spat, just chew into the roof there. Right, stretchy's good. I don't know what this is. What the hell is this? Is this a taco hell? It is, look at somebody smashed into that. Some kind of slug down there too. <laughs> that's it. Uh, that's it, Goldie. I told Diane, see if I can't if I can't go to a Jewish authentic and show me your papers, a Jewish deli, I'm just ain't gonna go into it. <clears throat> We don't really have, not many people do Italian anymore. Charge net. Man, I've got a few homeless people whizzed on that, much to their regret. Yeah, because who wants to be schlepping burgers, right? You go home, you smell all greasy and oily. Even a cat don't want to go near you. Look at all this equipment just to charge up. No vehicles. You got to spend some time on my channel, brother, and go watch all the videos. I've had meetups, all kinds of stuff. Traveled with people, yeah. Yeah, man. Done it all. But well, we're not going to make it across here. Wait, 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 wait. Well, we'll see what Popeyes does, but McDonald's already raised their prices, so 
$20 for a Big Mac meal. I never thought I'd see anything above an $18 burger. Now you get $25 burgers. Wait, 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 wait. Cindy, what was the look? Hey, Howie, what was the look on uh, the face when that when you just slid that paper, <laughs> slide that paper across the desk? What's this? I'm putting in my notice. Notice of what? The refrigerator needs repair. What, is, what are you talking about? Notice. You see that baby slow motion sliding across the desk. Oh, she was rude. Wow. Did they want you to continue or did they just deep six you? Nobody does. Nobody does Cindy rude. Wait, wait, wait. Like oh too much for you? No, you say that no the pay wasn't enough for me. And the people I work with. My resignation is brought to you by people like you who make it possible to hate a job. Operator tongue. Lingua is very popular around here. Lingua? That's very popular in Mexico. You can get lingua and tacos. And intestines are tripe, tripe. A lot of people, tongue is a very delicate part of the meat, right? No, I don't have lonesome dove blocks. No. No. Why would lonesome dove be blocked? Slice that tongue, just get off the furry bits and... <clears throat> It's a be illegal to abandon used oil outside this facility. Okay. No, I don't think, uh, I don't know. Hey, Jennifer. Uh, it's okay, Howie. I mean, it's very old. It's basically a dead channel. You know, it's like a dead body. When you put the paddles on it, it may appear that life returns like a resurrection. That's what you're witnessing here. <clears throat> Informaciones. <clears throat> Remember, this used to be the auto wrecking yard here. Pretty wild. And that guy's daughter, unbelievable. 
This blonde would come out with shorts three quarters up her backside, uh, crop top three quarters down her front side. Holy smokes! Yeah, I know, Cindy, but you can always, you probably got their numbers anyway. They'll keep you up to date on all the crap, Ola. No, we're not buying any electric vehicles. wonder how long these are going to last being outside. That's it, Goldie. Goldie's like, we've seen this show before. We've seen this show. Yeah, that's good. You're going to be a wrap. So you get that uh, spray. Imagine if we had slow motion cinematic of Cindy sliding that paper across the desk. Get some real dramatic music. Cindy's like, it's get down time. Well, I guess we weren't good enough for you, were we? Uh, now that you mention it. I don't know what it is, but that's a bad place to put stuff there. When it becomes a more barbarian society, barbaric, that will be an obvious target. Hey, Ethan. Hey, Sean. How are you? Nice. There's that missing German Shepherd. It would have been great if the boss was in today. That's funny. All right, Ethan, don't slam, don't spam it, man. Just say it. Now you're like the first person to get timed out here. Wow. Congratulations. impure thoughts you better go tell your LDS elder time out sorry dude that's rarely do we see anybody time out rarely I remember the good old days. This used to be like a Buddhist monastery here. It's weird. The housing they put people in is unbelievable. Still smells spicy like... Uh saffron or whatever the hell it is. They used to be out here dousing the place with that spice. What the hell is it? Curry. And... Really gross. I wish I had this house here. This thing is massive. I never see these guys sell any vehicles here. Duncan, what's going on? I'm worn out from mountain hiking around town today.
I am plain chuckered out, dude. What a great place. You have a built-in like mechanics lift in the back and all kinds of stuff here. Hey, how you doing? I'm lurker. Lurker. I'm lurker. All right. <laughs> The lurker, all right. That's pretty cool. We just got stream snipes. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. I don't think there's one legit vehicle here. Yeah, that was a nice stream snipe. Cocktail de Cameroon. How about that? Now they're selling cocktails on the... Aguachilone. Micheladas. I wonder if they got a liquor license. I don't know. That was nice, huh? Yeah, it's this whole neighborhood's like Breaking Bad. Except nobody's got the intelligence of uh, Walter White, right? <laughs> Cindy, Cindy, it's been a been a hell of a day today. Right? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> well, one thing's for sure: when you come here, you're guaranteed to have a few laughs. Look at that nice arrangement. Nice fake, yeah, but it looks good. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're going to be getting it later. That's why I started so early today. This whole this whole neighborhood is a self-contained entertainment unit. Quick time. Gracias. I'm Heisenberg. You could put all the brain cells in this neighborhood together, wouldn't make a Heisenberg. Every time somebody tries to cook meth in this neighborhood, they blow the house up. Literally, I can drive you to three houses that blew up. No, you gotta you gotta know the chemistry. You absolutely positively have to have to know the chemistry when you're doing it. Hello. I don't need a lot tonight because I'm gonna be going out of town. We got some nice bush beer. Bush light no less. Here's a guy, remember that day we walked in here? It was about three weeks ago. And we just walked through and we were like talking to the guy here about what the lot rent was and everything. And this guy follows me from here all the way down to the auto parts place on the corner. Right? Why are you filming my house? I mean, the guy, the guy was a big boy. He was out of breath. <laughs> You know, because that was quite a haul to walk. Right. You guys remember I was talking to the guy about how much the lot, how much the rent was. You know, because I'd like to downsize, get into a nice hobble. So the guy's like blowing a tube.
<sighs> Looks like the old lady left. The palm reader. Remember we almost went up and checked, looked in the window, then she pulls in in her Jeep. It's like, holy smokes. Are you kidding me? We almost got caught with our drawers down on that one. many taco trucks here, I don't know. Taco El Favorito. We never come by with that with that tip in the hat to our lady right here. Our Lady of Guadalupe. Yeah, the motel was a brothel, yeah. And, uh, the city warned him, if you don't stop our new city ordinance, we can we can demolish the place. And they bulldozed it. They knocked that hotel right down. Oh, we got cops at the Jesus Computer Center. Yeah, I was seeing the Golden Bachelor, that, that guy that uh, married... Uh, Three months ago, they're already getting divorced. Right, the Golden Bachelor. Wonder what that was all about. That's not the gal I would have picked on the show for sure. She just had that look like a little bit of a weirdo. The Golden Bachelor, divorced. What a joke. Yeah, it was a Golden Bachelor. It was pretty good, but uh, picked the wrong one. I could have said that it, uh, it's an ill wind that blows no good. Right. It's an ill wind. You like these palm trees, right? These are Canary Island palms. Yeah, we have a lot of big ones around here. You know, a place is shaky when you just stop caring about your signage, right? Yeah, I won't miss that in Baltimore growing up. 17 year locust. We used to use them for like a baseball. You gotta reach on, man. You gotta stay clean. You gotta stay out of trouble. There's no in between. We'd be good to go. Oh, this just looks so depleted here. It's probably time for me to make the move. I'm going to move to Philadelphia. I'm going to move where Goldie is. Imagine the hoots we would have on, this, on the streets of Philly. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, this is just, I feel like I'm in one big, like, am I in a movie here? I don't know. It's always got some weird feel to the place. Like something ain't right. That might not be a good idea, Judy. I mean, I enjoyed the concept of the show. I enjoyed a lot of the ladies were wonderful. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't know. Some things aren't meant to be. Yeah, John and S on 24-7. That's it. Lupita, I always like that name. Like the nickname Loopy. Mercada La Guadalupana. What is this? Close for Easter? Yeah, it's a it's a big uh, deal. Disope la inconvenencia. Close. Sorry for the inconvenience. It's all gone. Alton, we're out on work release here. You want Alton, we should stop at the laundromat. That sky looks very threatening up there. <laughs> I'm on a weekend pass this weekend. This is nice. I wonder how much this is. Made in Chine. They're all about the same. I got a nice one, don't I? I got the Camp Chef. I like Lupita is a pretty name. I like Guadalupe. Lupita, Lupita, Spanish ladies always have beautiful names. Honorita. Yeah, that's you, Goldie. That's it, Philly, honey. It's like, I love Santa Rosa. And you know what? During the pandemic, Goldie Khan didn't miss a beat out on the streets of Philly. Other people taking that stimulus, that $600 enhancement, Goldie Khan's out there showing people how to give the COVID vaccine and doing it up. Yeah, I'm proud of that too. You can tell, Cindy. You got that beautiful Latina look. But what do I know? I'm I'm biased. Shoot, I'm like two thirds. Irish and look at how I turned out. Staff bailed for the government check. That's what I'm saying. This is really cool. This kid did, uh, you know, did actual drawings. Cujo. Look at that. Like did a nice drawing. Like a real professional police sketch artist right there. Look at these particularly sad eyes. Tongues out, like, let's go throw the ball again. Where are you? Look at that. They just want their Cujo back.
And I actually had to do a police sketch, right? I like that. How's this foster freeze gonna stay open? I don't even think they sell twenty dollars of food in now. Everything looks greasy. I did ice cream one time, it was like some kind of soy derivative kind of mess. Hello. Some kind of fake soy boy mix. It's like no wonder we got so many soy boys around. Here's our neighborhood park, yay. We gotta keep on moving, gotta keep on moving. over here again. I bet you got a few soy boys in your classes. Everybody wants big meat. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Soy boys. Wait, wait. What's up, Sean? How you doing? Big Papa. Add on work, add on jail release this weekend. <laughs> yeah, you make sure of that, right, Magda? I don't know how you do that, though, in English literature. <laughs> Gambini. The great Gambini. Gambini. That dog's in another county by now. <laughs> I interpret the literature. Charles Dickens must be an especially good device for that. <clears throat> I wear the chains I forged in life! Pizza. Welcome to Friday Night in the Hood. Uh, why do you drag those chains? I wear the chains I forged in life. The most unappreciated part of uh, a Christmas carol right there. You gotta keep on, do, 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 do. You gotta keep on. Yeah, we're gonna get a coffee and hang out for a couple of hours, then we're gonna go shopping. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, they especially like it when I go uh, when I go Bob Cratchit. I caramba. Whoa. Wow. You can appreciate beauty without being lustful, right? If I had a hammer and you were a nail, I'd slap one upside your head. Ah. Some of these soy boys like to do mathematics. Now if you go down this road to the apartment house, the back of the rancho is there, you can see that. There you go, Nino. Thus proving you have exceptional taste. Oh, I've been doing it for so long, Sean. It's just second day. I was streaming. One of the first people that was, even before live streaming, I was recording afternoon walks, putting them up. Tomorrow I've got the Rancho update with the planting and all the work that was done. You gotta move on. You gotta move on. You gotta move on. Frozen art. Oh, I can feel some raindrops right now. Oh, it's definitely, uh, definitely something coming down. Gotta keep on moving, gotta keep on grooving. Definitely the raindrops coming down. So we were perfect for our outdoor time today. It's time to get in the van and go get some coffee. Hang out. Hang out with the soy boys. Yeah, it's definitely raining. Gotta keep on moving, gotta keep on grooving. All right, I'm gonna fix the picture. Hello, dry duck. Yeah, it's raining now. Here's a nice uh, Subaru. Ascent. The Soy Boy Network. How's the picture now? Is it better? Gotta be a soy boy. Do, 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 do. Perfect timing because of the rain. <laughs> when I got all the grass cut in the back. Starbucks. Yeah, I just don't do Starbucks. It's too bougie for me. Way too bougie. Looks like that guy left who was passed out over there. That's it, Goldie.
there at Starbucks. All the soy boys. And that indie music. That wretched indie music. And we have, oh, and I also, they'll, they'll tell you, I also have CDs for sale. Right? Want to buy a CD? That wretched music. Gotta keep on moving, gotta keep on grooving. Uh -oh. I think that house sold in like one day. People love the hood. The Bieber fever. Doesn't that kid have something wrong with his face or something? I thought you would like Magda, the guys that are out there watching their sons play Little League ball. At the football games. No soy boys allowed. No soy boys allowed. Look at how beautiful that uh, tree is. Yeah, that's it, Goldie. Got it going on. Look at how beautiful that weeping flowering cherry. So delicate. It's like a it's like a firework that explodes. Just explodes like your meat. So we got the back done before the rain. All right, guys, I guess I'll put you here for a couple minutes. Yeah, it's a pretty tree, isn't it? Gives a little bit of beauty to the hood. All right. All right let me whiz and... Ow, oh, oh, get you guys all set here. Hey, Shemay. Baby back. Uh, I think I probably threw down about maybe two miles on that short little junket. adjust this again when we get up there stay put there we go stay put you soy boy uh, it's raining
Alright, calling all soy boys. Calling all soy boys. Oh boy. Uh. Uh, oh, hey Katie, sorry you're not feeling. Told you guys it would be raining. You gotta keep on, you gotta keep on, you can't be a soy boy, do 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 do, you can't be a soy boy, oh boy, I guess you can be a soy boy. Gotta keep on moving, gotta keep on grooving. Uh, you can talk about your soy boys. Yeah, I know my clouds here. I knew there was trouble brewing. That's why I started to chat early. Magnus, the professor, she'll tell you about soy boys. And a kid named Soy Bomb. Uh, well, we had a nice stream tonight today. Didn't we? We had that. All right, it's great. It's coffee time. I need this.
about sitting in on one of Magda's lectures, huh? Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Professor Magda. All right. Nobody wants to be a soy boy. This guy just left his drink on the back of the vehicle. This is the funky town. I like Disturbed's version of Hello Darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Need the vision of a street lamp. I turn my collar to the cold and damp. In the vision that was planted in my brain still remains echo the sound of silence in restless dreams I walked alone with soy boys from the home do 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 Still uh, in my Hamilton Joe Frank Reynolds phase. Don't pull your love out on me. If you do, then I think that maybe I'll just lay me down. Right down the news. Don't be a soy boy. Ooh, ooh. Do, 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 do. All right, time to sit sit back and chill. We just have to shop and eat, drink some, uh, drink a little bit, celebrate, work their ass off today outside. All for good. Yeah, that's like it. That's right. That's it. One hit wonders. Dun dun da do 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 do. Uh. Nino, are you covered by the Canadian health system? Do they take care of that kind of stuff? Sounds like a rare and calamitous disease. It puts that all in, all in caps, just in case we forget, right? Just in case we're a bunch of soy boys. Yeah, go ahead, dude. There you go. <laughs> it's like I ran that out on purpose, right? Nothing's free. Free means just you're not paying for it, but somebody else is. Bum, bum, ba -doo, doo, 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 doo. Don't be a soy boy, baby. Oh. Don't be a soy boy. This got to be like, yeah, hey, you got enough room there? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Pretty good at parking in these spots, right? Uh, all right, here we go. Shalom Omar. Uh, that 
Everybody's all happy. It's Ramadan. Uh, let's get this turned around. Uh, Soy Boys Incorporated. There we go. Let's get that back up there. There we go. All right. Just put it around. I'll block the sidewalk. There we go. Let's just chill out for a while. What a day, what a day. Had to did change in locks today. And, oh man. Uh, 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 uh. Zillion of mosquitoes attacked me has stopped. Terrible. Somebody asking about soy boys? I don't know. Uh, hey, Nocturnal, how you doing? I had several students miss classes because of Ramadan. That's cool. Right. Did they miss anything important? I mean, which which literary figure are we covering these days for our spring fiesta? Yeah, they're selling houses for a dollar in uh, Baltimore, and I mean, it's just like, wow, you got bulged out fronts on them, and uh, tremendous water damage. Wow. I mean, uh, and then what do you got when you're done? You're in the hood, right? I mean, these, these are not savory neighborhoods. All right. Anybody, anybody not understand that? Right. California has no equivalents for Goldie Khan knows. I don't know if Goldie is here, but uh, she knows. That's real ghetto. I got a bridge to sell you in Baltimore. There you go. That whole fiasco. They ought to just build a third tunnel and be done with it. Uh, but here, what, what they're doing now is an essay of my own invention called a Eurovision essay. I make them do a report on a contest and respond to five songs. The only thing I know about the Eurovision contest was when Benny Hill used to do, um, used to do it on his show. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate, appreciate that. It takes a lot of work to be like this. So I appreciate that time somebody noticed on the chat. Uh, I need something fun to eat. <laughs> it should be fun too. Yeah, I guess the first couple were fun and then it's just like, oh, wow. Please discuss the relevancy of the chains of Jacob Marley. Uh, my from Toronto. Toronto is a great city. I love Toronto. Got a great Chinatown. It's got everything up there. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Nino. You know, vertical streams. I forge the chains I wear in life. Year by year. Uh, well, I don't know. It just brings a different cross section. It brought a lot of new people, like uh, Sean and uh, Alton. I mean, a lot of people are coming. They're regulars now. It's, it's, you know, it's not all. You know, it's got its upside too. And plus, we're going to Vegas, right? So these people want to be along. 
So make sure to like and subscribe, as Magda says. Shaman Omar. What do you do in Toronto, Shaman? Did you miss the uh, did you miss the last exit for Detroit or what? I'm gonna do tuna salad. I'm getting beat, man. You guys would be like, yeah, okay, so noodles, so what? So hate me. Right? Do 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 do. I got some fish cake. Some some we can make a fish head stew. Uh they can break back in the join us. <laughs> that was the chocolate pudding. <laughs> I just took enough time to grab a slice of uh, of uh, sharp cheddar craft cheese. How about that? Just just a little something to keep me going. Uh, we were just mentioning you, Alton. Do, do, do. I don't know why these people don't think that they can park at this welcome center. Nice potato salad during the day, or cold pasta salad, or chicken breast, maybe grilled asparagus. Well, don't shank me. Hey, shanks ain't no joke. Guy made a shank out of a bar of soap. Had such a sharp edge on that. Hey, Alyssa. This, this lady's still waiting for this guy's spot. Uh, what's up? <laughs> Shag says, uh, what's up? What's going on, Nicole? What's going on? Hey, Luce, I'm going to build something so I can uh, have sun-dried tomatoes this year. I mean, how hard can it be to have sun-dried tomatoes? Yeah, just to get ready to go shopping. We're just out in the hood. We're talking about soy boys. You know, the usual stuff. Seemed like a nice uh, soy boy uh, day. So I needed a coffee. I must have hate myself. Well, I guess it's a step up, right? All right, take care. Take care, Alan. But for what soy boy is, don't listen to Rosie's definition. Magda, why don't you why don't you give that for an essay topic? Three better than none, exactly. So it must be uh, it must be uh, must certainly be a better job, right? You wouldn't interview to be uh, go down, so to speak. <laughs> Magda, just extra. I want more. Whoa, okay. Wow, aren't we getting ambitious? You must have banked a lot of money. You've been going at this for a while. Take a nap, Cindy. Cindy had a big day today, sliding that paper off for resignation. Put in my notice. Well, I guess we just weren't enough for you, huh? Guess we just weren't enough. Sydney, uh, <laughs> I would love to film that in a cinem cinematic walk around 
starting from the uh, the person that you handed in the thing and then working around behind you right a whole 360 and real slow motion that that paper sliding across two hands <laughs> what is this uh, I'm leaving what do you mean you're leaving early you got a doctor point I'm leaving Define leaving. <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here. So true, Rosie. Ungrateful corporate America. You know what, Cindy? Don't forget your last day. What the deal is. <laughs> I like to keep this short, sweet, and to the point. To those I've worked with and enjoyed your company, thank you for the experience. For those who give corporate America a bad name, <laughs> uh, you want to make a statement. <sighs> make a statement. Uh, I may call in, uh, yeah, call in that last day. Uh, a little under the weather today. <laughs> uh, I was celebrating last night. That, uh, right. Yeah, the look on denial, you have to go through the stages of death and dying, right? Like, <clears throat> I'm leaving. Uh, yeah, okay, so you need to take off a little early, just, you know, clock out, whatever. No, I'm leaving. Uh... What, did I miss your vacation? Uh, please look at the paper. Uh, what paper? <laughs> uh, oh, my. Oof. What do we have here? <laughs> uh, my, aren't we a little testy today, right? <laughs> Cindy's like, I just dropped an atom bomb in there. Oh, Gordon Ramsay, bloody hell. If you can't say something nice, calling is a final salvo. That's it. We make anything. I need a fast food job. There you go. You need to come back to California. You need to come back to California, honey. This is where you belong. You're an L.A. kind of gal. With all the experience you have, you probably get a good job out here. You're going to be handling that call on Thursday with the... <laughs> yeah. uh, listen, uh, Cindy, do you think you can take care of that pallet before you... Uh, before you leave us here and uh, you know because now we're gonna have to do that work and uh, why don't you just be a good sport and just uh, handle we got 10 pallets out there on the truck and just uh, you know handle it and uh, you know we'll, just, uh, we'll have a nice cake on your last day and uh, some candles what's up Jenner <sighs> Getting rich at the BK Lounge. With all the soy boys, this has been great, I know. Cindy, I just think it would be so good if I could be there to get that on camera. I'd do a special feature cinematic, I Quit. That would be the title of it. Featuring Cindy Talks, that's it. Oh, yeah. Hey, Cindy. How you doing? Oh, hi. Uh, hi, Melissa. How are you? Uh, what's up? Uh, I'm leaving. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> Is it me? <laughs> well, see, come to think of it, you know, I wasn't going to go there, but... Uh, you do smell like you had a spice goat for breakfast. <clears throat> Holy smokes. That's it. Good to see you, Crow. 
you know, they don't have anyone to do it because you did it, right? And now you've left us high and dry, right? Whatever will we do? Now I have to do your job too. Uh, well, that's okay. I did your job for the last five years. Ba -dum. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now we're even. Gordon Ramsay's got all the money in the world, that big fancy home in Cornwall. Come on, all those going out and harvesting those fresh whelk, right? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I've been doing your job, so what's, uh, you know, fair is fair, right? <laughs> oh my, we're getting a little testy, aren't we? We're getting a little bit uppity. Well, listen, Miss Cindy. We'll just try to stay out of each other's way. How about that? Until you traipsey out the door to your nice new assignment. Don't spare a thought for us here. We'll be okay. Ah, it's like WWE Raw. Ugh. This is mine, which is doing... <laughs> Uh, living vicarious I'm just telling you Cindy I know your life honey uh, and I just uh, I wish all good things for you, you know, you've been a tremendous person you're a hard worker you don't complain for nothing yeah. Look at the Libre against me. Can we get those masks, Gordon? Yeah, and if, if we can give you a few laughs when you come in here and uh, Friday night and a few drinks, a little bit of a couple, a couple blunts, right? Then what's wrong with that? I can't take mine off. <laughs> You're just too good to be true. Can't take that mask off of you. You'd be like hell to touch. You revolt me so much. <laughs> You're too bad to be true. I've got to get away from you. Da da do 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 do. I'm quitting this job, baby. And if you don't like it, Cindy, Cindy, wouldn't that be good? That would be great if we quit together, right there. So. We've got a little bit of news today. <laughs> hey, my dog, here I am by Soy Boy. That's it. Uh, uh, yeah, what's the point if it's not fun, right? And, uh, you know, all the experience Cindy has, she should be making, she should be making more coin. <laughs> got to endure all the heat and everything else. Do, 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 do. <sighs> yeah, thank you, King of the Grill. I appreciate that. Some people say it looked like uh, Justin Bieber on a good day. Uh, it's the most liberating thing anyone can do. 35 years in grocery. Give him the old Fangula. King of the grill. Johnny Paycheck, didn't he? <clears throat> 
Didn't he record that? Take this job and shove it. I ain't working here. Uh, the real soy boy is Justin Trudeau. How you doing, Cold Cat? I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, opinions are all over the map. Hey, Nora, we're going to Vegas on Sunday. Be a part of it, honey. Uh, uh, this is the soy boy competition tonight. Man, that's a nice Cadillac. I got the Bieber fever. <clears throat> this is exactly what I needed after a long week. A little Friday fun. Tip a few beers, have a little bit of cognac. Yeah, and I don't feel like cooking a lot tonight. I don't know. I thought the tuna casserole, but I just, I'm feeling a bit peckish. Do, 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 uh, that's what Blackbird's saying. He has a bottle of Armanac. Yeah, I wish you were. Gordon Ramsay, I would love you to cook me uh, a Friday night something along the seafood mine. No, uh, line. Monkey Boy surgery is not till the 25th. More like Beaver Clearer. Gee, Wally. Uh, Mrs. Lander says, uh, uh, on account of I'm not going to pass the class, right? Yeah, we go to Fremont Street the first night. But we're going to have some real long mega streams while we're down there. How did you know that toothpaste, Bo? Um, there knew somebody knew that. See, I'm not the only one. I told you guys about dynamite toothpaste. Gee, Wally. Uh, 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 on account of Mrs. Landers don't like me. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you look lovely today. Uh, you look like the mad cartoon character on the cover. That's it. <clears throat> what me worry? Alfred E. Newman? Oh, brother. You know, there, you can't even find an orange fire hydrant anymore. You know why? Because everybody's got to, everybody's got to decorate it. It's all got to be uh, aesthetically pleasing to the environment. Yeah, until your house is on fire. Oh, where's the fire hydrant? I don't know. Vote for Trump, dude. Doctor, doctor, just tell me, well, answer me a question now. I'm an independent, and honestly, I'm glad when people come in for that. I really don't know who I'm going to vote for yet. Let's suppose the former president gets reelected. He does a Grover Cleveland, and he's back for a second non-consecutive term. What power do you think that he, what, what, what would you expect him to do? What do you need him to do? Besides the stuff about the border and, you know, I mean, what do you think? I mean, right? I mean, what is he going to do? Give everybody a raise? Uh, walk past the fire rider? I always ask, I always ask an honest question. I'm just like, what are your expectations? Why do you back him so much? <clears throat> I ask the same thing of Biden people, you know. <clears throat> That's the main thing that has stopped the border invasion. It's crucial. <clears throat> it's going to be very difficult to stop it. It's going to. It's going to have to be. Uh, you're going to have to have tens of thousands of people deployed along that. Uh, these uh, these people have taken to cutting the fence open in places now and just coming in. Good evening, Amanda Hog and Kiss. It 
So when somebody comes in and they just say, you know, vote for Trump, uh, and then they don't follow up on it. It's like then they're just they're just a follower. They're just uh, right. Uh, uh, you always seem to do that nonsense. I bet you really do. Hey, Four Seasons, what's up? Good to see you. Did you hear that Rosie Trump said himself he was getting revenge? I don't know. I think that you have to um, you have to warn Rosie O'Donnell. Right. Here we go. Wait a minute. Whoa, here's something. Close the border aggressively end the how are you gonna end the Ukraine conflict? How? Stop oil restrictions, well reason. Let's suppose you wanna stand up. Let's suppose you wanna stop the Ukraine conflict. All right, so you go to the Russians, you say to Putin, let's you know, let's let's lay it down, let's have a let, let's negotiate it. He says, Hey yeah, okay, hey Joni, I'm willing. And you go to the Ukrainian guy and he says, no way, do you understand that Russia invaded our nation? And if we have to fight till the last Ukrainian, we're not negotiating anything. So thanks for stopping by and uh, have a good day, right? Well, we didn't start the fire in Ukraine, right? So I just think it's good we have a little back and forth. So we, I like to get down to the practical, okay, it sounds like a good idea, but in, in practice, how are we going to do that? We can't force these guys to lay down their arms, right? How do you lower gas prices? You got people panicking about, uh, you know, the ocean temperature's never been higher and... Uh, greenhouse gases and it's going to be another roaster of a summer and you know it's just like sooner or later you gotta you know you gotta find something else so let the price go high enough so it makes sense to develop alternatives well he didn't do anything about it the, the market took care of it <clears throat> you know the free market set that price the Saudis got over aggressive and they pumped too much oil and uh, you know it took a while to restrain and then we had a pandemic when nobody was traveling and it went to below zero nobody wanted it so I'm saying I there's some things I definitely like about former President Trump and as you'll know if you hang around here long enough and I hope you do because we're going to uh, Vegas on Sunday and there's a lot of stuff we do here I uh, you know I appreciate all of our presidents and I try to support them so uh, you know if if former President Trump were to win again he would have my full support Because that's just the way I am about it. I guess I'm just a different generation where we just had that sort of respect level. Once the election's over, we just put it aside. So I'm glad when people come in like that and then uh, I get a chance to exchange some ideas with them. <clears throat> Ted Nugent. It's a lot to like about Ted Nugent. And snakes. Uh, they had issue check thing and they couldn't work. How do you stand up to China? I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, I spent five years in China. I know the Chinese very well. I speak Chinese. <clears throat> And, you know, at the end of the day, you're not going to restrain China because of its absolute population size and uh, tremendous industrial capacity now. So, right. If we start putting tariffs on, it's going to be like the 1930s all over again, the Great Depression. Nobody will be able to sell anything overseas to anybody. <sighs>
kill you in that van. I'm going to kill you. Ted hunts all the time. I don't know. Doesn't he have a doesn't he have a ranch in Texas or something? Uh, look up Trump recent speech. If I'm gonna keep your taxes. Uh. How about roads and schools? Fascist. <laughs> Magda. I don't think if you're rich, you're a fascist. I don't know. Yeah, I support the banning of TikTok until uh, China opens TikTok to its own residents with equal freedoms of viewership. So definitely, I would say when you open up your when you open up your internet to TikTok, we'll let TikTok back in here. How about that? Tit for tat. Cindy Talks deserves a nice uh, queen stateroom on a nice cruise. Love, exciting and new. Come aboard. We're expecting you. You quit your job. Now you're going to celebrate and have some fun. Those dopes you used to work with. They were nothing, anyone. Hey, Angus Kisses, how are you? Bernie. The all the uh, van and bed in the back. Woo, there we go. This is my boondocking outfit. I'm waiting for wait set up. I'm waiting for it to get warm. We can go out there and do some overnighters to Healdsburg and some other places. Uh, do, 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 do. For now, it's just good to just sit here. Yeah, thank you, doctor, and I appreciate you coming in. You know what's good about you, doctor? You didn't just hit and run. I asked you a question, a legitimate question, and you took some time and you answered it. You know, and that's that's something that I don't see too often in here. I just get the hit and run guys, vote Trump, and I, whoa, whoa, tell me why. I like the way you stood up and you had a lot of point-by-point point things there, so. Uh, appreciate it. We have, we have fun times on here. It's not... You know, we just, a lot of people come here and they stay. They have a lot of laughs and stuff. But I'm just saying, I appreciated you coming here. Yeah, pick me up for Vegas. That's it. I appreciated you coming here and uh, taking time to really give a legitimate answer. And I admire anybody that uh, is that thought out about their position and stuff. <clears throat> My personal thought is that the presidency actually controls very little of the uh, destiny of the nation. And uh, most of them happen to be in the right place at the right time. And they're actually uh, destiny favors them by chance and accident. So, But sometimes we've had presidents that have had that rise to the occasion. And uh, my only concern of Trump, I hope he's running for a legitimate reason that he really wants to be a good president. And not because of a feeling of, you know, having been beaten or having the election stolen before. Uh, right? <clears throat> right? I hope he really wants to, I hope he really has an idea to come out swinging and really, really do some great things. And not just begin going after Rosie O'Donnell again and, and all that stuff. <clears throat> so come up to Vancouver. We'd love to meet you. Man, Vancouver's great. Right. Great. Yeah, thank you, Rusty. Yeah, I'm just saying, Magda, but, uh, you know, how about Whoopi Goldberg and these, these weirdos on The View and stuff? I mean, uh, you know, it's... That's it, Cindy. Cindy's ready for Vegas. Bright light shining, gonna set my soul, gonna set my soul on by. Because it got too conservative for you, Magda. When that, when that beautiful Hazelbeck or whatever Hasselback left. Right. 
Wham! Just like that, Gordon Ramsay's right there. Should I pack? There you go. <laughs> She's like, Cindy's like, I would so blow it out in Vegas, man. I would just kill it. Uh, I know you don't, Magda. I know. Go there, the sunset with his money. Like corporate damn I really don't think a billionaire would go through all this junk and let you do well. You know, but one thing you have to agree, Doctor, is it is it our former president Trump has a very big ego. He's a very outspoken, very um, extremely proud person, right? And I think he he probably concluded that uh, he got ripped off in in uh, 2020 and uh, this I'm just gonna I'm gonna set history straight right here by showing people I'm back and I'm kicking ass that's it <sighs> right I just try to touch all the notes Cindy I'm still thinking about a whopper with cheese or without cheese, Lee? See, Lee's new to the channel here, right? With cheese or without, Lee? <laughs> a whopper with cheese. Somebody said they had a triple. Uh, yeah, well, you see, I admire you're a very honest person. Um, you know, Dr. Yeah, I appreciate that. I don't know you. You don't know me. But I can tell... You know that you have you think about stuff you just don't tow the party line yeah there's some things about the president biden i like and some things that i don't like like he jumped all over the former president for taking uh, party money for paying legal bills and then they disclose in a democratic national committee that they did the same damn thing for biden whopper with cheese you know, nobody would have cared, but at least be honest, right? Right, sour pickles are delicious. Extra pickles. Uh, yeah, well, they they denied. They lied and said they didn't, right? And then it comes out in the filing quietly, and it's like, oh, my God. Can anybody tell the truth anymore? These weirdos like Elise uh, AOC and, oh, man. So harmful to this nation. Have a few Canadian beers. <laughs> it was a capital tour. <laughs> yeah, but uh, this time they denied it. The, the, you know, Biden denied that he took any money for legal bills, and then he comes out in the filing. At least be a guy that tells the truth, right? This is why people have no confidence in politics anymore because nobody's capable of telling the truth right yeah marjorie she had the whole cabal and when you saw jan 6 happen I, I thought to myself this is the most embarrassing thing i've ever seen in the history of my nation i'm ashamed to think that this is beaming worldwide and i thought to myself geez i want they must be cheering in china right but then I thought to myself, isn't it great that people can still come out and protest in an American way? But I was, uh, yeah, I was horrified. I was horrified when they stormed the Capitol in Lansing, Michigan. Right? But that's a preview of coming attractions. I try to tell everybody, that's what's coming. Hey, mobile mechanic, and it's going to succeed. You're, you're going to be dropped into a barbaric state. You can see the way the trend goes. That's just a little foretaste. That was an appetizer on the menu. So when everybody starts to get cut off and the money starts to money starts to decline and the checks aren't going out, and man, you're gonna how much do you think people are gonna tolerate? You think Occupy Wall Street was something? That was a Sunday school picnic of the you know the Friends Society Quakers. These beans are a little zesty. <clears throat> uh, 
Well, you just saw today that England banned puberty blockers, so they're way ahead of us in terms of common sense. I tell people if you, if it wasn't for media and internet, do you think we would be where we are today? I'm not a I'm not a spokesperson though. You know, I can I can only mind my own knitting and and uh, you know get myself squared away. But it does not mean that I uh, feel I have a right to uh, go after other people. But sensibility is sensibility, right? Kids don't know. You know, I'm I'm very taken by something in the Bible when. Uh, when there was a guy that uh, was possessed by demons and the apostles came running to to uh, Jesus and like oh, you know you told us we'd be able to cast out demons and uh, you know and the shit it didn't work <laughs> and he's like well some demons you have to you know it's a combination of fasting and and faith and stuff so he went over and he talked to this possessed guy and he's like uh, who are you and the guy's like you know we are legion means many 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 so when I heard somebody some someday come out with signs saw somebody someday with signs that said hands off our trans kids I thought to myself wow our like <laughs> It just, it just registered in my head is just like, wow. Like all of a sudden, hour? Hour? I thought, how many are in there? Ryan's like, uh, that was a big turning point for me. That was a big turning point for me. Don't get caught up in politics. Go fishing. So, but... On the other coin, I'm in America, so if somebody's an adult, it's within the realm of their being to choose their own. But uh, I think children should be allowed to, uh, even if it's even if it's painful, you know, because people throw around statistics and stuff that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just our hands off our kids. It's like what? You know, I just I connected the two. Yeah, for we are legion. <clears throat> Something happening at your house, Ken. Do you know why this I only put two of them in there, Stu? Because if they add one more, it would be too far. <laughs> uh, welcome in, doctor. No, hey Sam, how you doing? No staples tonight, mate. No staples today. We're legion. Do you get that connection, Dr. Frankenstein? Do you get that? In in exercising a person that there's uh, multiple, like our... Oh, wow. It, it fits perfectly, doesn't it? It just, it shook me. It shook me to my core. Absolutely, positively shook me to my core. I thought to myself, okay, this is where I get off the train. I can't speak for anybody else, but uh, because I, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, I try to be kind, and uh, I don't, I don't, I don't preach about things I've never made it a topic. Uh, zeitgeist. Too far. <laughs> That's good. Hey, Taco. So your mileage may vary, and I have uh, plenty of friends that are uh, my best friends, trans and other people. But they're not out there, uh, you know, you know, they're just living their lives, right? After fishing hot apple pie, McDonald's, and sweet tea, man, you are really easy to please, Lee. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, cool cat. 
two things woke me up that that connecting that to the uh, to the uh, exorcism that Jesus performed on that uh, one guy and uh, also number two was uh, if you chart the rise of usage of TikTok over by year and not year on the uh, y axis or x axis and you put the uh, number of uh, um, users per year, you climb it up, and if you overlay uh, people presenting as trans, it just perfectly fits that uh, the number of subscribers to YouTube 2015. It just went right up, just traced right on top of it perfectly. Ooh. Yeah, Alan's got the. the He's got something going on at the VFW tonight. So welcome in, everybody. Thanks for being along. But, like I say, I'm not, uh, you know, who am I to say what's right for other people? I'd, I'd never presume to do that, so. A very simple man. For we are legion. For we are legion. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. I didn't say TikTok did anything. I said here's a correlation coefficient it bears looking at because back when I started in, in 2000, it was unheard of. And then it just suddenly explodes like that. Come on. We're in a scientific age, not in a barbaric age, right? We can still put two and two together. Uh, that the groove, uh, 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 yeah, that's exactly right. So, we already walked for like, uh, we already did a good two hour walk. So, I'm getting ready to go shopping. Uh, you must do this, you must do that. Listen to the birds singing. Does it get any better than this on a Friday evening? Let's put this down. Let's appreciate that. Uh, do you need much? I don't need much because I'm going away. Yeah, free entertainment, exactly. I'm going away on Sunday, so uh, listening to some indie music at Starbucks. <laughs> Magda, it's a shame, you know, that you weren't, uh, well, maybe you were. I don't know what your age is, right? But you would have been perfect in the Soho uh, up in New York, Greenwich Village, when, when the coffee house scene was born, <laughs> right? When all the uh, freaks came out and dark shades and bad ventilation down, walk down, right. Did you, did I used to hang with you at the Emerald Tavern 40 years ago? It could very well be. I used to hang at Jerry's Belvedere in Baltimore there. York Road in uh, I can't remember the other York, and uh, I just can't remember the cross street anymore. Yeah, but yeah, the bongos, smoked hookahs, no ventilation in the place, just blue air, and a guy just, you know, hitting a guitar, a few things, and oh wow, man, that's far out. Allen Ginsberg, and oh yeah, man. That's so cool, right? Ah, that would have been perfect. Magda's scene right there. 
Yes, that's what I'm saying, Maggie. You would have so fit the vibe of Allen Ginsberg and KPFA and Pacifica Radio and Amy Goodman and Juan Gonzalez and Noam Chomsky and the whole crew. They would have pulled you into that like, boom! Tonight we'll have a poetry reading by Magda. Here we go. I know. I say all I was for you. <laughs> you need to have your YouTube Rosie in your wheel with Last Testament. That's it, cool cat. Welcome back, Howie. Boom. Ooh, it's funny. Yeah, the beatniks. Judy, did you... Was there... I don't know if you were always in... I don't know if you were always in Seattle or not, but that had to be kind of a Portland and Seattle. Right, the guy always had the round sunglasses on, just playing guitar, and the guy with the bass, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. And everybody had to sit around and pretend that they liked it. <laughs> Yeah, Hartford Road. Wow, what are you talking about, man? Wow. Well, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lee Hale, what about the, what about Bo Brooks, brother? Right, what about Glenmore Gardens there on Hartford Road and Bo Brooks on Blair Road? As we say on Balmer, Blair Road, man. Man, I'm going up Blair Road today. I'm going to get some crabs for tonight. Yeah, I'm going up Bo Brooks after I get it clocking out of work. Then we're going we're going to drink some beer and listen to them Oreo game tonight. Uh, the hippie from Dude, where's my car? Unreal. Snap their fingers, begin. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, this is so cool! What a scene, man. It's poetry reading tonight. We got one place in town that does that. Right? <clears throat> Some guy didn't know what film the war is and he's 80. Yeah, whatever. It was a little before, but I know they love bongos and poetry and uh you look at Dobie Gillis, we all bad away eventually. Yeah, to each of it is appointed that he shall die. The time and med and way is not determined. It's unknown. Dean Martin movies. <clears throat> You've seen Bong movies. I just remember art house art house stuff from the I mean, I'm going to have to go research that. Art house movies, like of that genre, you would have uh, Butterflies Are Free with Goldie Hawn and uh, right, Donnie Dark. I don't know, I don't know if Mag, Mag ever saw that movie, but I'm trying to think of... Uh, i got to think about that. Yeah, Donnie, Donnie Dark. There was a movie called Butterflies Are Free with uh, Goldie Hawn about this. She fell in love with this blind guy. Map to the stars. <laughs> Clove cigarettes. Yeah, you know that movie? Goldie Hawn bouncing around in a top and panties. That was, it was okay, you know? Patrol, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. But I, I'm trying to remember some of the shows that... <clears throat> some of the movies. Because I really hated that stuff. I was like a... You know, I was cheered when Family Ties came and Michael Keaton had a coat and tie on and a suitcase. Briefcase, I said, here's the change coming. This is it. This is it. There you go, Gordon. And the whole nation just changed, right? We won the gold medal in hockey. Carter got the royal boot. Reagan came in. What a time, man. What a time. When I was in business school, the Economic Recovery Act of 1981. 
with accelerated depreciation. Uh, I remember Dragnet always said, yeah, Dragnet would have those hippie scenes like, hey, man, you're killing the vibe, dude. What's wrong with you? Hey, man, you always have to have the fuzz coming in and ruin everything. Hey, man, why don't you just chill out? Yeah, I know, Cindy. <laughs> I remember where the stock market was when it began, August 7th of 1989, August 7th of 19, uh, 1981, Dow 777, Arsenio Hall, Emerald Tavern, Emerald Tavern was, uh, dude, killing Long Island iced teas, I guess so. Uh, Damn, I'm trying to remember some of the Get Smart episodes. They would meet people in these goofy clubs too, and with the uh, round sunglasses. And just, I don't know. Damn. You know what, Magda? You got me very intrigued with that genre of. of uh, movies that I haven't seen forever. I avoided them like the plague. I hated that stuff. It's like when I watched Animal House and the guy's singing, uh, you know, he's on the steps and John Belushi's watching this guy play guitar to his girlfriend. I gave my love a cherry that had no stone. I gave my love a chicken that had no bone. He took that guitar and just smashed it on the step. You could just hear, you could just hear everybody in the theater just cheering, right? No, I'm not trans, no. That was a great scene. That was a great scene. And everybody was just cheering in the theater. Well, it's, guess what? It's raining, guys. And what does it do whenever we go shopping? It's raining. Uh, take a shower outside in the rain, no soap. What did I miss? Wow, Alton, that's roll, man. And Belushi takes that guitar and just smashes that to smithereens on the steps. Lord, that was funny. Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Do, 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 do. Ooh, everybody. Peter, Paul, and Mary. Mamas and the Papas. Joan Baez. I, I could pull, the, I could just pull my toenails off when I think of that name. I've looked at life from both sides now. Oh my God! Oh, oh. <laughs> no, make it stop! Make it stop! Make it stop! Uh. Good memories, man. Good memories. And voyage. To, oh yeah, voyage to the bottom of the sea with Richard Basehart. Yeah. Yeah, we used to watch that show when I was growing up. No, my therapist. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bay. That's just, just what the world needs, right? Live by the sea and frolic in the autumnus. Yeah, just that kind of fantasy stuff just made me want to just go postal, right? David Jansen, the fugitive. 
Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, a Quinn Martin production. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty entertaining. That's when nuclear subs were just a really new thing. <sighs> Quinn Martin made a ton of the FBI, you know, or the Dragnet. Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. Are you a fan? A fun-loving dude. I am. I like Little House on the Prairie. The only thing and the only good thing in Little House on the Prairie was Mrs. Olson. That was about it. Desi Lou, yeah. Colombo, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Columbo, starring Peter Falk, will return after these messages. Yeah, I was just thinking. Uh, yeah, I forget. You mind if I uh, light it? You know? Yeah, I think I left my thing in there. Uh. Oh, I can't believe it's raining. The Streets of San Francisco, a Quinn Martin production, starring Carl Carl Malden and Michael Douglas Jr. That's where Michael Douglas got his start. Do, 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 do. Yes. I used to spend I was Sue Ellen Wood. Put water in a cup, making believe I was Sue Ellen drink, drinking. Nice, Magna. <laughs> With all that money and wealth, I thought that would have been terrible. Yeah, Sanford and Son was cool. Yeah, Luanda Page made Sanford and Son. You old fish eye fool. Watch it, sucker. I learned better. That's it. I'm going to knock your heathen self out. <laughs> you were in love with uh, Gilligan from Gilligan's Island. Most of my contemporaries favored Mary Ann. Grady, you been drinking again? No, Wanda, no, no, Esther, <laughs> you <old> heathen. <laughs> uh. I'm sure Magda liked the professor because he could make a radio out of an oyster shell. Woodrow? Mm, yeah, Esther. <laughs> you, you got a bottle in there? Nope. <laughs> I had a crush on uh, Jacqueline Smith. Yeah, I should have started drinking in the morning, but I had to change out a lock at the... Uh, over to church today. I had a lot of work to do over there. So I didn't get it home till one o'clock to begin cutting the grass at home. A heck of a busy day. Ooh. Mm. Eating in the morning, thinking in the evening, 
and my brothers and sisters to do 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 doing maintenance while drunk. Not when you have 850 amp drop service to a place. That's the equivalent of four homes together in one unit. Barbara Felton. 850 amps is some serious, serious current. I hope uh, P2E is okay. He hasn't serviced in a couple days, so. <clears throat> Relate to Charlie Brown. There you go. Dude, we got a lively crew tonight for a Friday night. Usually we're pretty laid back. <laughs> Crush on John Ritter. Yeah, 850 amps is a big drop, man. And when I work in that room, I got to be damn careful. That stuff will just, that'll just turn you into a cinder. <laughs> Wake up my monster. That's what I'm saying, Dr. Frankenstein. 850 amps. You need a big cabinet and a big breaker for that. That ain't no just push a button. That's a big breaker. Uh, uh, yeah, OJ, I, yeah, I gave, I put a community post suggesting people look at my video where I went to LA and explored the murder scene where it occurred and how they tried to hide where it occurred. The title of the video is You Can't Hide Horror. Yeah, it can arc, so I'm always damn careful. That one room's got so much crap in it, it's like an accident waiting to happen. <clears throat> yeah, Hazel, boy, Shirley Booth, what an underrated actress. She only did three movies, but she won an Oscar. She was tremendous. Uh, AKA the, hey, Magda, are you still here? No, they only, the family only collected $130,000 of the judgment of $33 million. Uh, what was I going to tell Magda? Shit, I forgot. Oh, damn. Oh, Hazel, you're hey Magda, you're a big you're a big Betty Davis booster, right? Shirley Booth, but you you're a big Betty Davis fan, right? What a dump! Yeah, did you ever see a catered affair with uh, Ernest Borgnheim? Hey, Lisa K, that's a good movie. A catered affair. I thought she was actually good in that movie. I, I generally can't stand her acting. She was good in whatever happened to Baby Jane because she was playing to type, so. Yeah, Come Back Little Sheba. It's a great movie with Burt Lancaster. Uh, so what about Edward Albee? Uh, well, if you're gonna, if I could suggest a couple Burt Lancaster movies. All My Sons with Edward G. Robinson. Elmer Gantry, he won an Oscar for that. And if you want to see a very sizzling Shirley Jones who played Mrs. Partridge, she's, I'm surprised the screen didn't explode. Those are two, those are two movies I highly recommend of Burt Lancaster. He also did Atlantic City with uh, 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 Turner, what's her name? I can't remember. Swimmer. 
Yeah, the Birdman of Alcatraz. Yeah, he did a lot of he did a lot of good stuff. I have seen Elmer Gantry. Yeah, Thelma Ritter. What a great yeah, Thelma Ritter was great. So was um, so was Marjorie Maine. I loved Marjorie Maine's voice. Moon River, wider than a mile. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's the one where he's a preacher with Sister Falconer. It's a takeoff of the real life story of Sister Amy McPherson, who was the first uh, founder of the Four Square Gospel Church, the Angelus Temple in LA, and the first preacher to ever use radio. I did a feature video about her. Sister Amy Semple McPherson. Uh, are you looking for a date, Princess? Yeah. May Clark. <clears throat> Look at me, Ma. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> James Cagney was incredible. You ever saw a Yankee Doodle Dandy? There's just nothing this guy couldn't do. Nothing he couldn't do. Fade to black. Who was that, Dr. Frankenstein? Who was the most incredible actor of the... Uh, your taxi driver was freaky. I saw that when it came out in the theater. That was like 1976 or something. I actually took a date to that, and she's like, what the hell were you thinking? I thought it was a movie about a taxi driver. What the hell? Uh, the true <laughs> Cindy. That's funny. Oh, Cagney was amazing. But I think uh, I think Richard Burton, if you, if you see the movie... Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf with, uh, you just see some very fine acting. Uh, that's funny, uh, that's funny, Cindy. Yeah, Key Largo was good. Edward G. Robinson, or, yeah. Was that her? Yeah, Edward G. Robinson. Lauren Bacall. I think that's where Bogart and McCall first fell in love in that movie. The Omega Man. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I believe that, Magda. I just, uh, you know, in my date's like, uh, you know, like if you thought you were going to get any tonight, uh, taking me to that movie. I, just, I thought it was a taxi. Who the hell do I know, right? Right, because we watched Dog Day Afternoon with Al Pacino and, uh, you know, the, the day, all right. What do I, what do I, write scripts? I mean, what the hell? Uh, it's like, really? Uh, yeah, Bogart always left me. Yeah, you ain't getting any easy. You thought this, yeah, he, this, he killed that. 
Kill that. Okay, Princess Tanya, I'll have to take your word for that, honey. Uh. There was just something very uh, perfect about Richard Burton. Just a, just a flawless actor. Get another Whopper. There you go, Lee. Try the impossible Whopper. See how you like that. And very true. I wasn't much on, uh, I didn't like her too much on a cat in a hot tin roof. <clears throat> but I, th I didn't like her in Cleopatra. She's another one of those actresses that got by, I think, on good looks. And it just, you know, it would give a little tailwind people. Oh, that was excellent. But in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, I thought that she was, uh, I thought that she was exceptional in that. Absolutely exceptional. Hello, Foxy fan. I mean, you could put Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor together and just tell them to start drinking and it would have just been perfect. Johnny Tam was cool. Yeah, I mean, all that stuff was going on. Yeah, the Bowery Boys. Shout out. Well, you could actually put color in a movie back then. Now everything's got to be blue tones and gray and black and just uh, dreary and uh, now, yeah, Jimmy Stewart. Now, uh, now Jimmy was wonderful. Now hold on, thank you, Princess Tanya. I appreciate that. Every male except Lassie. I don't know. I just, you couldn't have paid me to be with uh, Joan Crawford. She just, she looked too mannish to me. Uh, Albert Brooks. No, I like Jimmy Stewart. Uh... Thank you, Princess Tanya. My earbuds needed charging. Yeah, thank you, Nina. Yeah, Grapes of Matt Wrath was good. Yeah, I want We're going to have poke. We're going to have uh, poke ribs. Uh, Grandpa, we're going to get on. And we're going to go on to California. I ain't going. I told you I ain't going to go. Well, I want some spar ribs. I'm going to have spar ribs. Hey, Italian Stallion, how you doing? St. Louis, there you go. Yeah, we got that, Princess Tanya. Please don't spam the chat, honey. We get it. Uh, probably say stuff like I've already had. Uh, Dave Osborne. Uh, the Beverly Hillbillies. Brought to you by Kellogg's of Battle Creek. Makers of Kellogg's Corn Flakes. That was the first show I ever remembered it had a product placement. Jethro with the Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Especially the first two seasons of the Clampets, which hardly anybody ever saw. And I ended up going and visiting Battle Creek.
Yeah, I thought Midnight Express was a good movie. Just, uh, you know, just very symptomatic of the times of people, uh, you know, did running afoul of drug laws in other countries. Right? Billy Eyes. Yeah, Helter Skelter. All right, let's pop that around. I have to also say, I don't know if Magda's here, but uh, I thought Joan Crawford was good in Mildred Pierce. Her daughter was really a B.I.T., you know what? She slapped her down good. So I was going to do tuna tonight, but I ain't. I'll probably do it tomorrow night. Well, I think she was she was pretty good in uh, whatever happened to baby James spinning in her wheelchair. That was pretty good. We've got rats. <laughs> Jesus saves. There's the mission. Preach and feed. Yeah, that also had Barbara Bel Geddes in uh, Rear Window. Well, that was the only movie I ever liked besides Of Human Bondage. Was Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. I thought it was uh, legitimate acting. That's good, princess. All are welcome here. Yeah, I just, I couldn't take Ann Baxter and wasn't Ann Baxter in All About Eve. She was great in the Ten Commandments, but it just dropped off. She was also good in the Magnificent Ambersons. Beautiful, beautiful lady, but... Uh, to see Alfred Hitchcock's uh, Shadow of a Doubt is better than the birds. Much better. You can see Santa Rosa in the 1940s. Early 40s, late 30s. Yeah, there you go, Shemay. a little signal challenge here. We usually are by the transmission, the pink transmission place here. Mrs. Skeffington. Uh, I don't know. I just, I like Greer Garson. She was good. She was, she was really good. Mrs. Miniver and how green is my valley? Everybody's a lot younger than me, Princess Tanya.
I'm just an old fool, honey. <sighs> well, thank you, Jerry. You're sweet. being my age. I have no wish to be any younger. That's <laughs> Cindy. Uh, Cindy's like, I don't want to hear any of that BS talk tonight, Rosie. That'll be it. I'll unsubscribe, block, lose my number, don't call, don't text, be gone. Don't write, don't call, don't text, lose my number. It'll come back in a minute, Jerry. Just give it a second. Fairy tales can come true. They can happen to you if you're young at heart. There's this my Cindy girl. Nothing's going on at the Druids Hall tonight. If you're young at all, and if you should survive till 105, think of all you'll derive out of being alive. And here is the best part. Got a head start if you are among the very young and hard. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do. If you're young at heart, fairy tales can come true. They can happen to you if you're young at heart. Do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do. Do, 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 if you're young and hot. Ooh. It is appointed to all men that they shall die. Right. The hour and means unknown. All right. Here we are. It is time for shopping. I don't think... Let's see what our battery level is where it uh, we've had a hell of a stream tonight i've had a blast we don't need to take the um uh, we don't need to take in the uh, battery pack right Ugh. Am I pulled in enough? I don't I guess so. Ah. Judy, you're, you're, Judy, you're wonderful, honey. I wouldn't change my age for anything. Take care, Nomad. We don't need a lot of stuff tonight. Let's see if we got anything special over here. William Powell, the Thin Man. Wife with father. Right, with Irene Dunn, she was a good one. Cool pops. Mm -hmm. Myrna Loy. She was good in the best days of our lives. Let's see what we got. Still 
got good view. We still got plenty of meat. All of a sudden, ribs got really expensive. We were buying these things cheap, right? Veggie chips. Chicken broth is only 99 cents. How's your meat? Organic, no less. You gotta stock up on this stuff because we do a lot of soups. Right. How is your meat? I like these, but I like the pepper wings. Yeah, you're welcome, Lisa. We uh, it's, uh, it's uh, we got to get some butter too. It's crime what happened. Uh, how is your meat? Oh, oh. I think tomorrow night we're going to make the tuna casserole. Because it's not going to be a long night, so. Where in the hell is the butter? April 26th. All April 26th. Oh, I got the meat. Got the big meat. Oh. Oh. Death shall come like a thief in the night. Be ready. Do, 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 do. How's the picture, Ronnie? How's the picture? Are we good? Do we need cleaning, scrubbing? No. How's your meat? These are too expensive for. Uh... Oh well, they had Venus fly traps. You guys had Venus fly traps. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they sold out. So. I know it's pretty wild. Very cool. Good to see you. I'm going to grab another H2O for the road. Hold on a minute, guys. Gotta get a witness. You say the thing, same thing every time, Gabriel, but here you are. Yeah, I would have bought a Phoenix flytrap because I think they're cool. You know, you got you got some meat eaters, right? Gotta get a hold on. Gotta get a hold on. Rotisserie chicken. Too expensive this stuff. $4.99 for that dinky little thing. Mozzarella. We already got mozzarella. We better use that up. Yeah, 
because we're going to grab this butter right now. Lest I forget this stuff. Chillamook. I got it. What about me? What about love? What about big meats? What about big meats? Yeah, how do you, they must be hard to take care of, right? Moussaka. They mu nobody, nobody should be eating margarine. That's for damn sure. That stuff was a crime. Blue Bonnet Margarine. Ugh. The Astro Blue Bonnet Bowl. <clears throat> what about us? What about meats? What about us? What about meats? Oh, yeah. What about us? Oh, I love Tillamook. It was great. Great people, great tour. Southwest Shrimp. Yeah, people got a taste for that during the war. Right. What about us? What about us? Fifty-one sixty. What about us? What about our meats? Sixty, so much work to eat a little bit of shrimp. Criminal intentions. What about us? What about us? What about our meat? It seems all right. Let me make sure this is from a third world country. Yeah, the broth was on sale. You know, what the hell country this is from? Harvested. This, oh, India. Well, that's got to be good. All right? Shit, that's got to be good. What about us? What about our meat? Red Baron. Oh. What about us? What about our meat? Oh, this is a really good price. What about us? What about the meat? Oh, here's the enemas. What the hell is this?
Holy smokes, right in the enemas donut owl. How about that? Uh, need to look far. It's like, should I bring that into the store? What the hell? I don't know. Gracious. Let's see what they got in the way of big meat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gracious is right. Should we make a little mini pizza tomorrow night? I don't know. I hate to have leftovers. Well, 16 ballpark francs for 227. That's a good big meat deal. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on a second. That's a damn good price. I just don't eat that many hot dogs, though. That's really, uh, really cheap. Oh, they're already expired, okay. That's a good price. Should, uh, I don't know, should we throw these in the freezer? Yeah, why not? That's an irresistible price. All right, let's see what we got for big meats. Expensive is the devil. Right? No bargains in meat anymore. Uh, thank goodness for chicken. Yeah. Used to be a little cheaper though. These used to be like eight, nine bucks. They've gone up here. Everything's going up, sir. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, but I've already got the chicken franks that are already open. So this has to go into the freezer. Absolutely positively. Nice dog. Uh, yeah, we use a lot of chicken broth, so it makes sense to get that. You think I'm going to fiddle around making my own broth? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you have hot dogs and beans, right? I don't even need rolls for it. Oh. Ooh. This would be good for tuna casserole, don't you think? Spirally stuff. Uh, how's your meat? Do, 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 do. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see if they have prison spaghetti sauce. I gotta figure out how to build something that's sun-dried tomatoes this summer. They're really good on pizza. Sun-dried tomatoes. Product of Turkey. Well, tomorrow night you're in Magda, because that's what I think that's, I don't know if I'm gonna have a little pizza thing, because I'm leaving town. Yeah, they don't have any prison spaghetti sauce. Well, it hasn't happened yet, Princess Tanya, so... 
Stay happy, honey. Stay happy. Uh, yeah, I've learned how to reuse the oil. Uh, if you love me, Princess Tanya, you'll take that advice to heart. Uh, that was nice, Naomi. First thing I do when I get back, I'm going to make that uh, another uh, beef. Spicy beef noodle soup. Ooh. I don't know why I never get hungry when I shop. Let's see if they have the uh, pepper ones. They were good, but they seem to be all out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Chicken broth. Still got the chicken broth. We got chicken broth coming at the wazoo. Ooh. There was no beef broth. Yeah, Shimei doesn't like the. Thank goodness we still are eating down on that wonderful barber shredded wheat. Boy, has that stuff been amazing. Thank you, Princess. <sighs> we had that clam chowder. This stuff is definitely spicy at buck sixty-nine. I mean, they're not kidding. Hot. Oh, she's still at her same church. Thank goodness. Roast turkey, broccoli, no beef. Ooh. No, I'm going to use that when I get back, honey. Saving that for special. Mm, here you go, Magda. Come on, come on. Go there. Do, do. I don't do anything with the... Uh, Cookies or crack, usually crackers and all that crap. I don't really feel like any chocolate. Oh. Yeah, I, I try to eat as much crappy stuff as I can. No sense getting bread. I eat about as low down on the food chain as you can get, Magna. While still considering yourself human. Ooh, I like to eat down on the food chain. Red vine, twisted gingerbread flavor. Yuck. Ugh. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody will complain. Did you see Rosie never put stuff back? There we go. Milk chocolate figure. Beyond Good from Uganda. Well, that's why they end up here because they don't sell. So they got to blow it out somewhere. Do, 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 do. Oh, these are these ain't bad, man. I'm trying to get off of that stuff, but I'm really addicted to gummy bears. We got all the beer we need, so I think we're ready to go, guys. I think we are ready to go. I don't like dark chocolate. I'm strictly milk chocolate. 
There's no joy in my life in having dark chocolate, but that's just me. Do 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 do. Working hard as usual. Hey, what's up, man? How, How you doing, doing, man? Good to I'm see right. you. I'm alright. I'm alright. Good seeing you too, man. Payday. Another day. Another day. Huh? Payday. The eagle flies tonight. Yeah, there that's go. it. <laughs> Got my bush light ready to go. There so. you go. This is my favorite Korean right here, yeah. Love that Korean food. Oh, yeah. You want to ski? I guess I'm going to need a couple plastic bags for this. favorite grocery alley. Uh, I'm your videographer, yes. Yeah, so. I'm going to do a cinematic video one day, yes. Yeah. It's going to be called Grocery Store. It's raining. How's your bee? Oh. I got one better than that. Uh, I got one better than that, Bill. I've got an ordained minister in here. Right. She keeps me. Yeah, I'd like to go to Scotland. She keeps me on track. 4572 was the damage. We're getting ready to hit the road again. I'm gonna sit this down and put the water here. Hold on. I'd like to go see Edinburgh and Glasgow. 
see where they film train spotting? They'll let me do a cinematic feature in there one day. Bargain market. Let's not get hit by this truck. Looks really aggressive and hungry right here. There we go. All right, we're just going to have some soup tonight. We got some drinking to do. I'm on a dream, lover. Ooh, yeah, Corvassier time, Gabriel, and we're going to have some beer tonight, because Friday night is all about the cognac. I like to hydrate first, and then we drink. That way you keep your liver in good shape. Are you my lover? Are you my dream lover? Tanya, I've never seen you comment on any of my videos. <sighs> what kind of lover is that? Are you having a drink tonight? Are you having a drink tonight, wine country? <laughs> man, it's like that. <laughs> man, it's like <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> Rice aroni, the San Francisco treats, saute and simmer. The flavor can't be beat. Uh, what the hell is that? Look at that thing's almost like a floating light show, that thing. Like, what the hell is that? It looks like a spaceship. Saute and simmer. The flavor can't be beat. Rice aroni. The San Francisco treats. bad Naomi oh. tonight I think I don't know I better use this fish cake I have I've had this uh, fish fish head cake for a while. Princess Tanya, she just wears her heart on her sleeve. If she sees something, she goes for it. Hey, hey Jen, how you doing, honey? It's like a pretty busy night downtown tonight. The flavor can't be beat. Do we know what the turn signal is? What are we doing? Oh, this guy's creeping. Uh, with some indie tunes, huh? Well, why don't you send me a playlist link or something, Magden? We'll get some indie, you know, if you want that. 
We can do an indie night tomorrow night. It'll be a country club chat. We'll have the other phone running indie tunes. Uh, Rosemary Lopez, hello to you. I'm leaving Sunday. I will be on the road at 5 a.m. Sunday's a beautiful day to travel. You don't have any, uh, you don't have any truckers. Right. I come home on Fridays, it's a little more problematic, but I'm in a good mood because sometimes I'll leave like 3.30, 4 a.m. from Vegas. It just depends, you know, if I'm up and I'm just like, hey, why am I, I'm not gonna get back to sleep. I might as well just roll out of here. You know, because usually by after 11 days or so, I'm pretty much ready to go home. No, it's not vacation. I'm uh, helping a church out down there, and I'm going to hang with Mr. Z, do live streams and other stuff. Getting ready to kick off a big capital campaign, getting ready to unveil the church's YouTube channel. So I'll be unveiling that Sunday morning, so hopefully everybody will, if you want to, subscribe. It's half and half. I just, you know, I will do some daytime streams. I will uh, uh, try to do some recorded contact content. People love restaurant re reviews, no matter how many times I go to certain places. They still love seeing it. Uh -oh. Yeah, we're on a mission. God. Yeah, I do too, so don't hate because they're vertical because Las Vegas is a very vertical town. And I think a lot of people have started to become adjusted yeah, thank you, sweetie. I appreciate that. Thank you for the best wishes. Kicking off a, a major capital campaign. You'll know why all the videos have been pre-recorded and uh, professionally done. It takes me, if I leave at 5 a.m., I'll roll into Vegas about 2.30. It depends if I stop. I'm, I'm thinking about stopping in Mojave. It's been a few years since I looked around Mojave. I don't know. I'm young at heart. I am. Well, that's what I'm going down to kick off a capital campaign for a parish hall. It doubles as a... Uh, all-weather venue for when when uh, times are cold and rainy or brutally hot. No, I'm not going to taco trucks. I don't eat meat on Friday, so I'm going to just go home and drink a bit and then have some ramen noodles. And tomorrow night I will figure out if maybe either have a small pizza, maybe do a calzone, or do the um, do the tuna casserole. I haven't decided yet. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Saute and simmer. The flavor can't be beat. Yeah, rice a is pretty good. It's amazing what a little bit of sodium and flavoring and will do. Oh, well, here's the... Uh, oh, I thought I saw the cop lights. Okay, Lisa K, thanks for coming in, honey. Have a great night. Let the drinking commence. Tomorrow's going to be a miserable, rainy day. See if we can get into the rancho. I'm so glad I cut the so glad I cut the grass out back. It didn't really need it out front. <clears throat> I'm 
time I turn this around, there's nothing I hate more than turning around a vehicle first thing in the morning here. Been a, it's been a fun time tonight. We've welcomed new people in. Uh, you know, and then uh, tomorrow night we got the country club stream. I think we'll probably do a call in tomorrow night too. Uh, all right, let's get you guys set up inside first. Wasted days and wasted nights. Uh, yeah, it's always good to have Rosemary Lopez in here. Uh, we notice when she ain't around. Better for whom? The bird is still out. Ow. Damn. All right. All right, let's get the computer going. We got some water to drink I gotta take the computer in I guess I can leave it out tomorrow I'll definitely have to take it in Once I go away, all right, I'll be back. Well, I'll get you guys. We'll go in the kitchen. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm in the hood. Let's see, is that tight or wide? Let me go bring the rest of this crap in. All this can get sorted out tomorrow. No big deal in there. Shrimp tonight. Let's see what else we got. I thought there was ballpark frankfurt in place, right? That was a good price. We gotta do those chicken fries first though. We finally got some butter. Yeah. Alright. Look here. 
deal with the dry goods tomorrow. We're going to need a bag to take our water bottles to Vegas. We've got plenty of uh, chicken broth now, which is good. Get set up out here. I don't think it's going to be a windy rain. That's the good news. That's the really good news. Plus, things stay very high and dry under here. Now that we know how to engineer the uh, kitchen stadium. Starring in that great Disney movie, Everybody Loves Rosie. Rosie's not who you expect. That's for sure. got these great nuts for a treat. Uh, anything golden is a turn. How about on Golden Pond? Oh, oh, Henry, he won't fool you. You old poo. couldn't stand it. Jane Fonda usually ruins everything for me. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to hydrate first. Always do a big, big thing of water before you commence drinking. Shotgun that baby. Oh, you old poo. <sighs> Which guy?
Please tell me, please tell me Larry David. I love his acting and his writing. Now this tastes good. It doesn't taste tinny like the last batch I had. It tasted kind of tinny, but this doesn't. Hey Jerry. Let's get the chat on here. I love having the outdoor computer. Wasted days and wasted nights. I never saw Gordon Ramsay really do anything with uh, tuna. Come to think about it. I never remember anything that Gordon Ramsay, all he ever did was criticize other people's fish and chips. Oh, bloody awful. What is this? It's all wretched. Awful. Take it away. Well, it's a family recipe. That's one that should have been buried with the... Mm. There's not a hell of a lot you can do with tuna. He should have cookbook yet, but I don't. I don't think he's an everyday chef. I don't think he can throw down an everyday meal. I don't know. Right. Yeah, there's a video how to render lard from pork. Corn fritters, fried catfish. I think Ramsey sucks. I think he's more of a... He's more into acting than actually cooking. Right, because you can't tell me every... None of these kitchen rescue, none of these restaurant rescues ever work at. If you go look them all up, they all fail. He thinks if you just tweak the menu, you'll be all good. Showman, yes, he's just a showman. I'm pretty much self-taught. <clears throat> now, two fat ladies, that was entertaining. Crack that crab. <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein. Hello! Today on the French Chef. 
We'll be making baguettes. And I'm bloody brilliant. I think we're gonna get it. <laughs> there you go, Gordon. Mm. Too funny, dude. I tag him in everything I do. Sooner or later, he'll show up. He'll be there one one morning. Oh, bloody this thing again. This freak. <laughs> I mean, it's just like Ramsey's got no sense of humor at all. I, I like Bobby Flay. What happened to Mario Battaglia? Put me in the skillet. Yeah, but he got that he got off on that, right? I don't mean it's the act, but I mean he got off in a court of law, right? Evangeline, my favorite color is royal blue. Tying a hen for baking is very like a tenor cute. I don't know. Uh, Ina Garten says you should always truss up the legs of a chicken even if it reminds you of bondage because if the legs are splayed out <laughs> then they cook faster than the rest of the chicken and of course that's correct right you teach me to, oh I could make you I could teach anybody how to do a pie first of all don't be don't ever be afraid of it right I mean get in there work it up well, it's like Jeff Smith, right? The, the frugal gourmet. It was a little bit of the old, what they say in the in Clockwork Orange, a little bit of the old in and out. I like Jamie Oliver. I don't know what happened. Yeah, wasabi's pretty tough from the root, I'll tell you what. You get that shaved, only once I've ever had sushi with real wasabi and they, uh, they upcharged me for it. Uh. <clears throat> now, Giada De Laurentiis, I could watch her cook all day long. Let me get up behind you and help you stir that. Hello, Gage Greer. Hmm. She and she Bobby Flay and Matt Lawrence, and she really did. Or are we just are we spreading calumny here, Magda? Are we uh, are we engaging in calumny, or do we have real? All right. I can't see Bobby Flay is a match for. Yeah, since truss up that bird. <clears throat> I don't know. I think she's still married, right? I don't know. She was just, uh, I can't remember anything. Yeah, we're cooking some noodles and shrimp tonight. Gordon Ramsay's favorite. I can't remember uh, anything that Giada De Laurentiis ever cooked. I mean, I don't know. Ina Garten, I could name four or five things. Every Friday when Jeffrey comes home from the city, he has his favorite dinner waiting for him. <laughs> Gee, there's no, uh, there's no patriarchy in that place, right? <laughs> Here comes the rain. Uh, hello, Gage Breer. We already said hi to you.
Food Network, you had, had a bucket beside her on the set and she spit the food out when the take ended. Uh, there's some gal on you, some, some Vietnamese girl that was all about overeating and stuff and all she did was take one bite of something and then not eat the rest of it. <clears throat> Foil around the legs, that'll work okay. Trust them up, baby, because if those legs are out like that, they're going to cook faster than the rest of the chicken. And, of course, she's correct, right? She's always right. Oh, Jeffrey just loves it. And I do the favorite Friday night roasted chicken. It's my engagement chicken. <laughs> And these girls put in the comment, these ladies put in the comment section, it worked. Uh, he proposed. <laughs> yeah, if a normal person can't eat 20 pounds of food. <clears throat> yeah, that's why I wonder about this girl that, uh, you know, uh, the Texas, big ta Texas steak challenge, right? She... she where you eat a 72 ounce and potatoes and all the sides and rolls and stuff in an hour and damn this girl did two of them megan somebody megan trainer or something i don't know shit she did two of them hey rumple still yeah it's a crowd pleaser here <clears throat> she did two of them That's the, uh, that's it, right? Today on The French Chef. Hello. With Jacques Papa. They had a good story of how she, uh, she sold that, she sold that show to WGBH. I mean, she went in there and just said I'll pay for the episodes myself <clears throat> it's a very light rain right now hello simple shepherd You got a galloping or gourmet Graham Kerr. Yeah. I don't know. Sybil Shepherd was always so weird on moonlighting. <laughs> Pardon me, and then L.A. Law would come on. Do do. Hill Street Blues. Do do do. That was a great show, Hill Street Blues.
Oh yeah, it's definitely coming down now. Can you hear it? You hear that rain? Get a towel who's back. Woo! iPad 5 on there. Get yourself, uh, I just got an, I just got a, uh, I don't know, I got like a Amazon pad, it's been great. But I use my Chromebook a lot. I like my Chromebook except when it crashes. Alright, we're having some Jackson Pollock legs. We're still on the cognac. Yes. It wouldn't be Friday night. Here you go, Magda. If it's good enough for Napoleon, Le Cognac de Napoleon. If it's good enough for Napoleon, it's good enough for me. Mag is like you definitely class up the joint. Oh, all the old General Winter showed the French who was the boss, just like the German, just like the Swedes. Swedes thought they would march in too. What the hell is that on the top? What the hell is that? 
was that? General Winter. All right, there we go. This is some amazing liquor here. Magda, learn to love it, honey. Learn to love it. Baking contact with cream puffs made me feel pretty. Oh, that's nice. Why don't you send me the recipe for it? We'll do an honorary uh, recipe. I don't bake too much because I'm really the only one that's eating it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please hit the thumbs up button if you're in. It's very appreciated. I actually went out to the Water, Waterloo Battle site in Belgium. Not much to see. Yeah, we do the uh, Seattle Judy uh, cream puffs. I always said before it'd be a great movie like like uh, the Iowa State Fair when they have the apple pie contest it's like considered the greatest apple pie in America at the Iowa at the uh, Iowa Fair and you have a movie where the uh, ladies try to sabotage each other's uh, ovens and things at the I'm having some Jackson Pollock Lakes. A little appetizer. I think it's uh, Scrooge McDuck. I think it's T H I S, not D I S. So, what is an incel now? Hey, Pro 14, how you doing? I'd be Francis something. Instead of we even see where they wrote words so on one M Eurovision, put Abba on the map. There is something in the air, my friend. Do, 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 Fernando. I was never really a big oppa. Hey, what's what's going on, monkey boy? I was never a big oppa fan. What's going on, monkey boy? Good to see ya. Everybody's been asking about you, hoping for the best. They want to see you out there on the chooches. <laughs> Poor monkey boy at the restaurant, the worst stuff happened to him. That damn omelet on his plate. Muriel, Muriel's wedding was amazing. Magda, did you see Strictly Ballroom? Hey, Wise Hat. Strictly Ballroom is another great one. Uh, 
the Hislop family. <clears throat> Looked after for what? Princess, can you cook? I mean, in the kitchen. Monkey Boy wants the uh, house of beef. What's your best dish, Princess Tanya? Strictly Ballroom is amazing. The Trans Pacific Championship. Tina Sparkle. I love all those uh, accents. Tina Sparkle. Boy, the weather really went to crap. That's good, Naomi. I'm eating some Jackson Pollock legs. <laughs> That's great. That's great, Magda. Sometimes it happens that the audio and the visual get out of synchronization. But that's on YouTube side. call a treat man V S O P that's it the cognac de Napoleon uh. Naomi I don't even bother answering it's the same person every night just under a different account <laughs> I don't even bother answering. I missed out on shopping. Shopping was, yeah, it's abbreviated. It was to the points. Right. Right. And I would love to meet. Yeah, I asked you what you cooked. Princess Tanya and I never got an answer. <sighs> Is it a bloody August? Are you having some August? Sheep goods. <clears throat> I couldn't even imagine seeing a hot chick go down on a plate of August. Yeah, you'll see Monkey Boy. You'll see the Monkey Boy. He just can't walk around a lot. No, I'm not sure Magda. I don't really, you know, it's all right. It just threw Princess Tanya a loop to try to figure out what Princess Tanya says that Princess Tanya can cook. But as long as people are nice in here, what the heck, right? <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> Just fix me a bloody tea with coffee. <laughs> Naomi said, you're a strange one, dude. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> coffee. Uh, see, you are, I don't know. 
maybe in your footballing days, Gordon. Right? You need to relax that thing up here. It's always you're always scrunched up, right? You're always scrunched in all the time. That tells me nothing, Princess Tanya. That tells me nothing. Uh, tells me zero. Uh, I mean, no offense, honey, but the cat can put his paw on the gas, too, and just turn it on, I'm just saying. Uh, Natural, no Botox needed. Yeah, it'll be good for Monkey Boy. Remember Monkey Boy's greasy uh, omelet? Oh, my God. I still think that thing's got a good chance of going viral over the next month or so. That gross omelet just swimming in my gross hamburger. Damn. Ooh, there is something in the air. It is. Uh, I miss Blackbird drinking out here tonight. I never thought I'd want Carrie Class in here to debate with. Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> You're tough. Yeah, hit those hearts. Let's see what happens when you pound those hearts. I don't even know what the hell that does. Right? There we go. Slam those hearts down. There we go. Interesting. Cause you, when you're on the when you're on the phone, you don't see it. He shut down her. Oh, he. Oh, here he is. Oh, it was. Yeah, it was. Hey, bird. Hey, listen. The rain is back. Yes. Hello, meow. <sighs> Fernando. Uh, he should be because of uh, getting all that money is coming back to him. Right. I didn't have a ham steak from Denny's. I had a ham steak from... Where the hell did I have it from? Freedom... Freedom Grill in uh, in the in the downtown Grand. It wasn't. It was. Yeah. There is something in the air. Ooh, 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 ooh. Not, it hadn't rained that much. But that rain's going to help set the tomato plants. That's good. Yeah, that's the Jethro Bowl tonight. And it's not even a Jethro Bowl. It's about that big. I don't know how Monkey Boy just didn't smash that against the wall. My Gainsburger hamburger wasn't much better. I don't know if any of you remember Gainsburgers. Holy crap. Uh, something that's true blue. I didn't think Gordon was that good because they cut him. <laughs> Don't behave, Naomi. Something in the air. 
do do do. That's Gordon Ramsay's like every time I every time I tune in, it's always raining or Rosie's cooking pasta and shrimp. Yeah, because Friday I always have like I have a lot of ambition. And then when it comes time, like, this, we're in our sixth hour here, I'm like, eh, you know, I'm like, eh, you know, I just, I'm going to just make it easy. Oh. Hot and spicy. Gaines Burgers were a dog food. Yeah, it was shaped like a burger. Remember Gaines Burgers? My God, that's what my hamburger was like at Denny's. <coughs> that big squeeze. I'm known to give a big squeeze. Hey, if you're going to meet people, I said group hug right here. <coughs> we had a group hug. <laughs> we had a group hug on the streets of Oakdale. Yes, we did. Just that dope winding out that just to hit the brakes up there at the light. Ah. There is something in the air. <coughs> oh, I forgot the hat. All that soy boy. There we go. That's it. Now I'm warm. Welcome in, soy boys. Naomi, I'm always good at uh, <clears throat> I'm always good at breaking the ice. Oh, oh, oh. Do, do, do. I'm always good at breaking the ice. Do, 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 do. Get there right you got to break the ice you got to make people feel good milk bones are not a butt crunch what Judy remembers uh, Judy remembers Gaines burgers do, 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 do. <laughs> and they removed tartar. There you go. So I don't know about Gordon Ramsay. I did, I thought he got injured in his footballing days. They're good. And they're already cleaned and deveined and everything. Dr. Frank is dead. 
I think that they had to discontinue Games Burgers because too many people were mistaking them for uh, hamburgers and stuff and cooking them up. <clears throat> yeah, that's my job to make people feel comfortable, you know. Yeah, the dogs don't like that slop. Bye, Elmer. <laughs> I don't know, I think he got kicked in the sack or something and he's, he's, he was done. And he told his father, what am I going to do now? Oh, well, I'll be a chef. Really? Where'd that come from? God, this hat is so comfortable and when it gets cold out. <clears throat> uh, 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 uh. I've been, uh, I've been miss being able to eat shellfish. Good stuff. And I couldn't do without the I couldn't do without the shrimp. Right? Got such good protein, it's so there is no there's no calories to it at all. Yeah, Gordon has many restaurants, he does. I don't know about many of them, but uh, he's got a few. He got pissed because uh, some of his re his restaurant lost its its uh, four stars. So he ran around yelling at his staff and everything. <laughs> Well, you know, if you're out gallivanting around, so I don't know. I mean, we have we have a couple four-star restaurants. We have a few in the county. Thomas Keller's in Napa County. You can see the video where I went to visit there, and I got kicked out. Because I was peering in the window. Woman's like, you gotta get out of here. How is that? That would be six stars. No sweat in the food. Man, man, I have no idea what you're talking about. Right, honey, are you in the sauce or what? Are you in a little bit of a wake up uh, bracer or what? I don't know what AAT is. Hey, Carl. <laughs> yeah, this is the Macy's. You ever see my big walk in action? Come on. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, right, Amanda? Amanda's loving this tonight. 
Tomatoes are sucky, I'm right. sorry. You need to put your other plant out there. It's right here. I don't want to put it in too much direct sun, so it gets in the hour or two in the afternoon and that's fine. It dries out too fast. Did you see you got a nice iris in your pot there? Yeah, it's finally blue. I've had that thing for five years. I know. I have my storage for months and it still survives. Make chicken soup. So lovely. I don't know if four stars is as high as Michelin goes. Really, really cover Fernando. It's a small town and the bitter version is great. Okay. Best to send me a link to my Gmail. <clears throat> Gordon had eight stars and then he lost one. So he went ballistic on his staff. Anyway, you got six huge gas station camp now. And, uh, the name escapes me. I do a lot with my, uh, I do a lot. I bought a beautiful wok, a uh, uh, Kushota wok. Seasoned it beautifully, it's been doing great. <clears throat> it's been doing great. My life is ASMR, Carson. Texas Ranger. I tried to sell my phone on it. Oh, it's a it's great investment. Good night, Amanda. Thanks for coming in. The wok is efficient with oil, efficient with heat. That design is just great. It's really designed to maximize efficiency. Get some yellow curry and red curry if I can find it. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, Geneva. That beer can looks like a fresca. This is the famous Bush Light, which is just fine by me. So after the long church is coming up in Las Vegas, and don't forget guys, we're going to Vegas on Sunday. Like and subscribe. You don't want to miss it. Uh, after those those mega churches, if you stop at the uh, Atomic Lounge and get a nice, uh, get one or two nice bush light. Right? Sky blue waters. Sky blue waters. Waters. Yeah, that's a very, I really did my research to get the best one. You pour the bread in there like a giant cup. I'll be using that wok tomorrow night to convert the uh, to convert the outdoor stove into an oven. Sunday night, that's right. <clears throat> Sunday night's a very short stream, but uh, it's just getting into town. Usually, like to either go to the Magnolia or to uh, Jerry. What are you doing? You already missed it. It's all gone, huh? You're too freaky running around here.
What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? See the atrocities. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. I Yeah, I can make it like new at gmail.com. Thank you, Michelle. Gas for Vegas. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Haven't you ever heard of uh, Rosie Greer, the football player? God, what a dopey. I, I know you're not representative of all Canadians, but you've got to have a higher IQ than that. Uh, short for Roosevelt. Good night, Judy. Some people, it's hopeless. Hopeless. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Time to babysit the early approach. She doesn't have till 3 a.m. Good night, Angus. Thank you for coming in. It's an ill wind that blows no good. Remember that. They are legion. That's correct, bro. They are legion. That's all right. Hands off our kids. Don't even going to chip a tree and jump off. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Good night, Judy. Uh. No, the kitties are around. Hey, Carrie class, how you doing? You were missed tonight. You were missed tonight. Tell me if it hurts. Tell me if it hurts. This is just a perfect ending of a perfect, perfect day. There is something in the air, nothing to do. <laughs> oh, you're uh, it's always the same guy. Kick your shoes off, that's it. Kick your shoes off. Delicious. Mm. Don't be a soy boy. I'm going to start sneezing. Thank you, Michelle. <coughs> Delicious. I don't know if Magda's here. She was pining for you tonight, Carrie. Ready for lap round two. Nature Boy Ric Flair, right? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that's it, Angry Canadian. It's called entertainment, honey. It's why you're here. Because you just can't believe it.
think we're gonna have rain all night. Yeah, this is the Chinese branch of Macy's. Right. When you work the balloon, this is the hat that you wear when you're on the ground. Right. Controlling Barney and right. this is it. I don't design them, I just wear them. That's all. Right. So take it up. Yeah, you got to stop looking at YouTube, right? Get out of your mom's basement and go live life, an angry Canadian. That'd be a good start. Else you're, le you're leaning heavily towards incel. <clears throat> yeah, see you later. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Sounds of the Rancho, yes. Genghis Khan owned this hut. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it has been six very fun hours tonight. If you've not hit that thumbs up button, please take a second to do so. We don't have any channel memberships here. We got no Patreons. We never have. We never will. It's only you and whatever kindness you choose to bestow on the channel and the only membership we'll ever have is your thumbs up all content for all people all the time that's the way we do it around here so please tap the like button and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow it will be our penultimate day in Santa Rosa here uh, haven't decided what we're gonna do we'll be cooking something up that's for sure tomorrow night to my moderators Shemay and Ronnie thank you for everything that uh, you do May for your amazing kindness and just more ways than anybody will ever know on this chat. 
So thank you very much. Uh, and everybody else, thanks for being along tonight. We did it all tonight. Walking, hanging out, shopping, hanging out, cooking. So thank you, everybody. Uh, your thumbs up are very appreciated. And enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks, everybody.